Hey, big nice ass. There's Shell. <laughs> hey, Shellback. Long hey, Shell. What's up, brother? Are you talking about his thick, uh, mm. whatever right. you just said there? <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Why? Yeah, he's eating pizza, man. Hey, oh, man. hey don't take Owen's stick. Right? Oh, I'm so yeah. glad I ate before I went on this stream because I would have been like, you motherfucker, why right? you're making me hungry. There's my <laughs> other brother in green right there. <laughs> and, uh... All right, everybody. Mom, so, Mama, Mama told me I shouldn't speak with my mouth full, but you know. uh, <laughs> sure. So, everybody, uh, we're gonna go around the table. Really, and you gotta eat, and you gotta try and talk with your mouth full too. Ah. Oh my God, shell back. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, everybody. All right. So, welcome to Just Army. Uh, parlay with just a normie and uh, this is episode two tonight we're gonna be talking about katie sackoff battle star uh battle star shit uh, <laughs> i do Falcon it every Winter week Soldier. don't i know i know i know <laughs> you've Falcon seen Winter my Soldier. broadcasts yeah i know yes uh jj abrams uh the orville twitch banning users off-site and fun topic of what's going on with movie theaters will we see a uptick in drive-ins so um we're gonna go around the table everybody's gonna introduce themselves and we'll jump into the topic go for it uh geek time hey how are you uh this is keith from geek time tv uh we do live stream on tuesday nights at 8 p.m eastern and uh thanks for having me yeah thank you for coming i really appreciate it i'm, I'm really surprised this is my second episode and everybody, everybody's like yeah man i want on well, it's so. a good community. We want to help everybody out. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, man. Dutch, tell us about yourself, girly. Uh, hey, we're diverse, by um, the way, everybody. We have a yeah, woman on the panel. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I'm the female quota <laughs> of the panel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. We don't yeah, have our uh, black quota, though. No. I was trying well, to get Ash over here because then we would have our... To come over. But, but but Burn but it. Ash Ash is going over the clobberns to do the Star Trek oh, thing. So that's you know. okay. It's so big. Yeah, cool. I know. I know. Yeah, I, know. Yeah, I said yeah. I said I don't like season three anyway. So you know, I was like, mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, Go let's, ahead, let's just see. Let's just see what my genealogy, mm -hmm. you know, my ancestry.com, mm -hmm. you know, because right. there is a okay, rumor gotcha. that I do have some black in me somewhere. <gasps> yeah. No. Yes. Oh God. How many yes. inches was it? <laughs> <laughs> or uh, what was the percentage? Like one thirteenth of like, you know? <laughs> well, it's either that or, or talking seriously, there might be either that or Spanish in my, you know. Which oh is my odd. god, we can't have you on the panel then. That's not I diverse know. enough. I know, that's mm. not diverse enough. You know, no, I'm I just know, a cis right? white female. Well, wait, wait, I, I got yep. it. You're not black enough, so we can't have you on the BBC, uh, okay? Yep. Even though I mm -hmm. eat fried chicken. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <No>. uh, <laughs> I'm culture appropriating now. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's finish up. Uh, yeah, I'm here to have fun, to chat, and just be nerdy. Cool. Show back. Yeah. The man that's eating nice. pizza with nice. his mouth yeah. full. Um, well, other than pizza, um, hi, my name is Shellback TJC. Um, <laughs> I, I, I like I like pizza, uh, obviously. Um, long walks on the beach. Um, <laughs> oh my god! Pizza power. <laughs> du, du, right? du, 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 du. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm an Aquarius. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's why we get along, Shell. Anyway. I'm an Aquarius too. Mm, <laughs> I'm a Gemini. Uh, anyway. mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. right. Uh, are you guys hitting on each other? I mean, is that the why not? Hey, or, we're uh, trying to we're trying to diverse everything. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, we're being diverse. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. based mm -hmm. by okay. We get we uh, you know we gotta have the. <laughs> did you see new Did you see new bomb Kirk? You see yeah, new bomb? He goes, was it quarter quarter black Garrett? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> he carries it. You know when he goes out with crowd. You know when he goes out with Crowder, he brings a picture yeah. of his dad who's black. He no, shows. Oh like, yeah, he has to. Him. Literally, <laughs> he has to. Oh my god, yeah. dude. Yeah. Or is his grandfather? Yeah. Or his yeah, dad? That's his grandpa. Yeah, yeah that's his, his dad. His dad was half black. Okay, so, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. yeah but his like, blacker uh, is his. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Shell, you done? See how just three generations sure. of Yorkshire are white, right? No shit. Uh, Willie the Monkey King. Hi, Tell yes. us all about monkeys. Ah, uh, yes. well, I, I will say this: your 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 panel is a little bit more diverse since I'm half Saiyan and uh, half oh, King Kong. No. Is, so. Oh, nice! <laughs> there you go. Nice. That's super yeah, diverse yeah. right there. Yeah, you got you got a Ninja Turtle, you got a punk frog, you got a right? you got a lady. Yeah. It's like, dude, you, uh, I'm you're a toad. Diverse. Thank oh, you. Oh, oh, oh wait, I'm wait, wait. Toad. Geek Times I'm... got glasses. <laughs> so, yeah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> there you go. It's on, another box. Tiny. Yeah, wait. Do you have I know, right? Oh yeah, you do. Okay, I do. Yes. Actually, I had to like zoom in. I had to like do right? an old man thing and like. I actually got. No, <laughs> oh, well, I wear glasses nice. too, but I can't show myself. So. Uh, <laughs> nice, nice. Um. So yeah, I'm basically here to have fun and and cool, you know meet cool. new people and. Right so it's like a, it's like a very cheap match.com, I guess. Or, yeah. Or, yeah. Oh, or, yeah. Or, <laughs> no, I'm Just kidding. So, you know, it's all good. Pop yeah. culture and the radical you... frog over there that looks like he's gonna Toad, eat thank somebody. You. <laughs> Toad is gonna eat somebody. I know he looks like uh cyber frogs, like undead. I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> right? I know. And I'm trying to get a redo of this because this was from mm. somebody else's. So I was want it? my own, so yeah. Oh. But uh mm. yeah. I have my channel on pop culture archivist. You yeah, see me crazy. all over the place now, just like Tom. Right? So, yeah, you just um, hop uh, around. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, right? you'll, I'll probably see my other brother in green over there share back me and him at the same oh, place. Oh, my as goodness. Times. Yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, we're, I do, I do mm. the, um, the Global Geek Gang with Clobberin' on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. I'm with Nick on Fridays. Um, then I was on, I was doing, oh, gee, what did I do? I was like, it was a long night last night. Uh, and then I'm over you're, here you're on Normies. For on, Alzheimer's. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm over here in Normies on Saturdays. And then tomorrow, mm -hmm. we will have our 100th subscriber extravaganza. Oh, on I my saw channel. that. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to so fun over that one. Yeah, it, it's going it, to, dude, there is <laughs> yeah. going to be surprises galore over there. So, Oh, hopefully. my God. So. I hope it's no nudity of frogs and toes. Oh, there's there's going to be snorting coke oh up hookers, God. asses, <laughs> tits everywhere. Hey, there's going to there be better just, be a donkey in that, too. Yeah, there's going to be a donkey in the background. There's a full on orgy, just <laughs> oh everything, whatever you God. wanted. Whatever your vice, oh, you got shit. it, brother. <laughs> oh my god, dude! See, We're totally this is what happens when you only have one woman. She's just stuck. I know, right? <laughs> hey, hey, we know. Hey, we hey, know Dutch pretty well. She can hold. We her will have hand. two women on our show tomorrow. Thank you. Oh my so. god! Oh, you're checking two boxes. Hey, yeah, we're oh. checking two boxes tomorrow. <laughs> you know, it's it's okay because you had me at snort. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I, know, right? snort. I know, right? <laughs> That's crazy. So, <laughs> right. so, so uh, I, I got, I got a, I got mm -hmm. a proposition here for you. How, how does this sound? How does this sound? Okay, you don't have to be lonely. At oh just, God! Just there goes the numbers in the. Oh God! Wow! <laughs> really? wow. Yeah. Okay, what have you been smoking, Shellback? Well, I don't know. I mean, it started sounding like a dating site there for a couple oh minutes. So I guess, <laughs> What's on that pizza? Right? It's magic mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, it is Washington. It, it, so. <laughs> it, it, is a, it is a supreme. It is a supreme. Right? Uh, I All right. To... Oh, so I huh? maybe I maybe sauce. I shouldn't be eating it if it's a supreme pizza, you know. But anyway, yeah. all right. So let's get into our first topic. So we all know and heard about Katie Katie Sackoff talking about the situation with regards to her and her other female co-stars that were on The Mandalorian and all that stuff. She basically slammed Disney. Mm -hmm. um, anybody uh, want to chime in on this? Yeah, lady. 
Oh, go ahead. Uh, wait, usually there's like something prepared so I can look at it. You know. What? <laughs> you know what? Um, give on. me a sec. Give me a sec because I on, I, on, I, I had to. On. Oh, hang on. I'll I'll sh I'll share my screen here. I'm a visual learner and presenter, so. Yeah. I, I I do that too. Dutch, I do that too. Right, hang on so. here. Uh, yeah. Let me see here. Where oh. is it? Okay, here it is. Yeah. Is that better? Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. You can yeah. see it now or no? I, wait, wait. Yeah, I, I've seen I, yeah, all yeah, of us. Yeah, remember, yeah, yeah. Uh, Normie, important. remember, there's a 10 second delay on StreamYard. So no, I know I that, but that. it's like showing all okay. the way through that. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's because yeah, you, you just... have more than one. It's doing that. It's got more than one right? window open. Yeah, it oh. it'll do. No, no. It, if you show it while you're streaming, it's gonna do the infinity window. So you mm -hmm. gotta prop. You can't have that window open. Just put up the other window. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, Dutch, I sent yeah. you a link in the private chat. So oh, okay. you look it over. Okay, I do uh, random German, so you guys have to learn about that. No, that's that's okay, cool. Okay, here yeah. we go. Okay, I got yeah. it. I got okay. it. I got it. You got yeah. Okay, cool. What so um in the article uh from our uh, wonderful uh people over at bounty and comics.com, if you guys go over there and stuff, they've got some really good commentary over there. It's mm -hmm. uh not BS, they've got uh, really confirmed sources and all that stuff. Uh they've got really good uh written articles, uh mainly by John F. Trent and some of the others, and they have podcasts as well, too. That I believe they do on Saturday or Sunday and all that. Mm -hmm. But um in uh, a lengthy interview with Looper, where she discusses her YouTube channel, which I've got to say, if you guys have not checked out Katie Saxoff's uh, YouTube page, dude, she is freaking phenomenal, dude. Yeah. She only had, yeah. dude, she didn't have a lot either. I think she only has like 150,000. Wait, so wait, I would have expected she would have more yeah, than that. Katie Sackoff oh. has a YouTube channel. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Saw, I saw some of her, yeah. Like, I, I She's was, funny. I never, oh, sorry. Yeah, dude, she's she's straight up, dude. Straight up, dude. She talks about shit that I don't even want to hear about. But dude, she was like, uh, like during Easter, she was she was uh, reviewing candy, uh, Easter candy from Canada and the U.S. And she's yeah. so funny, dude. And she was just talking about all kinds of stuff, a lot about uh, health things, uh, exercising, workout routines. What she does, you know, that she's dating. Uh, um, Carl Urban. Oh, yeah. Really? How, no way. how awesome of yes a kid way, right? if they get together. No how shit, awesome right? of a kid would come out yeah. if Carl Whoa. Urban had a kid. Man, yeah, think yeah, about right? that. Yeah. Right? Like, damn. That, that kid okay, would be a badass. That they kid are would be just, a badass. No. I've got to yeah. say, I think that uh, Katie Zakoff is the... the uh, uh, she, You know how like we have the 80s like kick-ass chicks... Is like that, yeah, and all that mm -hmm. from like Alien and stuff. Mm -hmm. I can't Sigourney mm -hmm. Weaver. I yeah. think of her in the same fashion because yeah. dude, Connor, she is uh, done, dude. Her day equivalent, yeah, yeah. She does mostly all of her own stunts, and then mm -hmm. I even yeah, seen her in like like we even saw her in a contemporary show called Long. Uh, what was it? Um, What's it called? Um, Long. She was. Is that, yeah. She was oh, the American sheriff. version. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah uh -huh. I was version. only like, I think it was five seasons, but dude, she was phenomenal in that too. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It wasn't, you know, the sci-fi, but she just is a kick-ass chick, dude. Yeah. Is that good? And, you know, but uh, she says... She's, um, she, she's what Brie ahead, Larson Dutch. wants to be. Yeah, she yeah. is. Right? Yeah, yeah. dude. And yeah. you know what? I'm sorry, but dude, Katie Sackhoff is freaking hot. Yeah, she is. Oh, she's, she's always been it. even she's on Battlestar yoked. Galactica when she was on Battle. I was right? like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll be she's honest though. Yoked. I I oh. never was like really into uh, the remake uh, Battlestar mm -hmm. Galactica. Yeah, but yeah. um, yeah. I actually like like in seeing her and like as Bo Katan and mm -hmm. like seeing her YouTube channel. I'm like, yeah. damn, she's pretty cool. Like, yeah, now, she's, like straight up. It's like she had the video yeah. where she like looked at her first like major. Uh, role which was a Holly mm -hmm. Halloween resurrection. Oh yeah, yeah, that and was, it was so just, cringe. Yeah, it was so cringe. But she at least <laughs> yeah. like had a, like a great um like outlook uh, on it. Took, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. but um, man, I, if I, if I may kind of get in the thing, I oh no, go I ahead. think I think this guy, the writer uh, John Trent. Yeah, I think he's been he's being a. It seems like he's being a little unfair to her because when they talk oh, to her, really? it's like, it, yeah, because when I was reading the article. Oh. 
um because he's like oh well you know because she says like oh well they you know they had the best people on, on the on the when they were doing that yeah, yeah. that all uh, all girl scene you know yeah. uh -huh. it's like she, they had the best people in there and he kind of points out like oh well mandalorian had to do his own side thing and boba fett had to leave to do something right. else because it would have been really awkward if he was there with luke and and then and then she kind of you know rephrased herself to be like well okay it's the people they had there and he's like well what is it is it the best people on the thing or is it the, you know the people he had available and it's like i was reading it and it's like you know dude Cut her, cut her some slack. <laughs> it's like cut her some slack. It seems kind of like she she caught herself and 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 you know. But um, I agree with her though that she that that like yeah, the best part of that scene was it wasn't very telegraphed. You right. know, it was just basically right. yeah. Yeah, and it was—it was just basically, it's like, all right, let's go on this suicide mission, and then in this part, it just happened to be all female people. It, it yeah, happened they, organically, yeah. not like in Avengers Endgame where they have. Yeah, the they're like, set up the shot. Here's yeah, the shot. exactly. Yeah. But well, uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, what, what I'm thinking, if you got Gina, you got her, and then you got you Ming got Nan. Yeah. Ning, mm. dude, those are three of the best yeah. women in action yeah. right now. Exactly. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, and like, all like three of them. I wasn't gonna complain. I was like, okay, I'm digging this. You know. Yeah, but yeah, but, yeah, but, but those three? besides you know the other crap, I'm like, yeah, but that was pretty cool. Okay, yeah. I did like that, and yeah. I had no complaint towards that. I would like to see them in like as Charlie's Angels. Those three oh, right there. Oh, oh, Charlie's I, Angels movie with those three. Okay. Yeah. A Hashtag. badass Charlie's Angels movie. Okay. Oh, yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. The, the yeah. woke people would go ultimately freaking ape shit. Yeah. Freaking Gina was in that. Yeah, yeah. Gina, you have Katie and you have <laughs> yeah. her in there. Right. That, oh, that would be. Yeah. And you have a good script writer. You right. toward it toward like old hell 70s, yeah. 80s, but do it towards modern day. Yeah. Money oh, guaranteed money zero. maker. <laughs> well, yeah, guaranteed I mean, money that, maker. You that know, won't if, happen. If, no way yeah. it will never happen. The other thing too is yeah. with these three women, too, as well, all of them mostly are very mm -hmm. respected and mm -hmm. stuff like that. You know, <clears throat> of course they've canceled Gina, but the other two, especially yeah. uh yeah. Katie Sackoff, she's badass mm. in her own right. Yeah. And yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. She's yeah. taken on some very yeah. uh diverse yeah, roles and stuff like that. She's she's tried a little of everything and mm -hmm. she's been very, very successful at it. Yeah. And all that yeah. stuff, you know. But go ahead, uh, who was talking there? Um, I don't know if it was me or um or or uh, uh I think it was pop culture, wasn't it? You just call me oh. Jeb, brother. Well, Jeb, um, was it Jeb? You know what? Yeah. So okay. let's let's move this along a little bit. But I know that there was a lot of controversy about her being cast as a woman to replace the original Starbuck, who was a man. I, I remember this. gave her a <laughs> chance. I I criticized it at first and stuff like that. But then I I really enjoy Katie Katie Sackoff and stuff like that. And what she says in this article in this interview, they did not mention that Starbuck was a woman. Is that, and the way she acted, she did not present herself as a man or a woman. She mm -hmm. presented herself as a soldier, as a pilot, who did what she had to do for the job she was doing. Right. Because I, I see. You know, oh, sorry. No, no. Ahead, um, Judge. Um, see, whoever. for me, for me, I didn't grow up on the original Battlestar. So Neither did I. It, yeah. So I when did. It came I was on. Uh, so when I saw that they were doing this reboot, I had no, you know, connection to it except for my dad. So he's like, "Oh, they're they're changing uh, Starbuck to a girl." I'm like, "Does that matter?" And he's like, "I just had to see." But see, my dad, he's in his sixties. He's hardcore sci-fi. Even right. he's like, "Yeah, I'll give it a try." And to this day, when we talk about you know the woke stuff and everything, he talks about you know Starbuck. At least you know he's like, at least they did yeah. it right at first. Yeah, yeah, you know, they did. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. T uh, what I was trying to say was, is like, cause I remember, um, cause while I wasn't, I, I saw a little bit of Battlestar Galactica when I was very little, like the original, but I wasn't really that into it. But when I, when I first heard the news yeah. it is like, everybody was basically thought it was a gender swap. Like they, you know, uh -huh. like, you know, kind of like how it is, how it is now. And, and that's really, that's really what people were worried about. They, and mm -hmm. so and it's like, and she just actually just did the, she did what 
basically it's like if you're going to do some drastic change your departure from the character do what you're supposed to and just basically make it your own and don't play it as like a special you know don't play it as uh as like a oh hey i'm this character but with they they basically played it to the to the story you know as, mm -hmm. as a person and yeah. that's the thing is like katie sackoff is like the best best dis definition of what you're supposed to do, of what you're supposed mm -hmm. to do and mm -hmm. that's why shit worked that's it is like because it, it's just as is like a lot of the woke stuff that's happening now was well, they were doing the same thing in the 2000s yeah right. it's not, it wasn't to this extreme true it wasn't well it's true but and, and, and i, well, I will also say pcu was a warning for us in the future if anybody's <laughs> seen that movie well, you know okay? back, when they, right. back when they rebooted yeah. Battlestar galactica they didn't have social media so no they yeah. didn't just oh, turn yeah, this yeah. whole thing up to 11. Yeah. i mean that is true yeah because they, they had they had forums, forums stuff, but, yeah, yeah they had forums right right but not right. like now where you know yeah. and you've got yeah. these people you got these uh, Twitter uh, kids on Twitter that have twenty accounts, sock puppet accounts that just come after you all right. day long. And, That's true. Uh, yeah, they just start I was around. The signal. I boost. was around for the yeah. first time. I was around for the first time. Uh, you know, I'm I'm that old, but yeah, yeah. You know, so when I when I saw yeah. when I saw you know the uh, the cast changes, I was, you know, there was a little bit of of, of cringing, you know, when I saw that. Starbuck was a woman because I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, I I knew, you know, the original, you know, and I'm like, mm -hmm. uh, I'm like, uh, uh, yeah, I don't think so. Um, but when I, you know, when I actually watched the show, um, you know, they they didn't, you know, they didn't, they didn't make a big deal about it, right? You know, like they didn't, you know. It, it they didn't lead off with hey I'm a woman, you know. No, yeah, they, they, absolutely. Yeah. They they if, just if I, did it. They just yeah. did it, you know. So yeah, it's like if, if I remember her first scene is she was drinking with the guys, right? Yeah, she was uh, she was drinking with Ty, and yeah, and playing poker. Right? Yeah, and I yeah. and I, I watched the whole I watched the whole thing on, oh, uh, yeah. on on dvd right i, I didn't okay. i didn't i didn't see it yeah. on tv when it first came right. around yeah but, you know the one of the ones one of the th things that st stuck out to me was when uh i don't ask me what episode but her and lee are in the hangar bay um having an argument and she hauls off and freaking uh gives him a good punch right and he punches mm -hmm. her right back. Oh yeah, right? dude. And, just, and I, and I'm I was like, like Damn. I, I saw that and I'm like, hashtag equality. <laughs> you know. So right, right. You know, it, it, it's it was it was moments like that that you know gave a gave a pass to uh, you know women you know or m men characters turn into women characters and right all that i don't think it was know? in that time period it wasn't a gender thing i didn't even yeah. think of it as gender thing and i knew that the original starbuck yeah. was a man and then bring in katie sackoff i seen katie sackoff and other stuff before she jumped into the role as in battlestar as a yeah. fan. Uh -huh. and granted i didn't really care for any of those things but when she played this character, this really solidified right. her as an actress to me, and I loved it. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I felt like Shellback did back then. I was like, oh god, but but I gave right. it a chance, and it, it didn't take more than five seconds, and I was like, oh okay, this works. Gotcha. gotcha yeah, yeah, that's the thing is that that first scene you have to get it right for the whole yeah. audience yeah. Well, to accept yep. it. The thing about it was, you know, it's like not only that, you know, they, you know, they turn, you know, they turn Starbuck into a woman. Uh, they turned uh, uh, Boomer. They turned Boomer into a woman. But not only did they turn her into a woman, mm -hmm. you know, they uh, they went from a black man to an Asian woman, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yep. you know that they. they uh, Adama, Adama, you know, went from a uh, 
a white, a white dude male. to yeah. a Latino dude. Latino dude, yeah. Um, uh, Which it didn't matter side, though. Colonel Sai went yeah. from yeah. a black dude to a white dude. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. it, but they, you know, it was different. It was different enough from the original because the original. Mm -hmm. All of the Cylons, except for uh, 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 what's his name? Fuck. Um, the 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 doctor. Uh, oh, uh, 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 Doctor Potter G or Gaius? Yeah, but, yeah. Z Zendias. No, I think Gaius it's Zendias. Gaius. Baltar. Gaius. Gaius. Baltar, Gaius. Yes. It's yeah. been like a decade or more since I've yeah. seen the original. Right. Yeah. But I watched you know, it I think, in the '80s yeah. when I was a kid. Right. So. I didn't but care the original, for the original. Yeah. The original, the yeah. only human I ever remember seeing was Gaius Baltar. Every, yeah. every, all the rest of them were were freaking, you know, walking toasters. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. you know, when they when they come out of the gate with, um, you know, they're, you know, they have the toasters, but they have right. the the skin jobs as well. You know, yeah. so that. Yeah. That right there kind of made it, you know, its own, you know, monster from the beginning. So mm -hmm. it was an interesting twist. It really was, I thought. Oh yeah. Especially and, when they got into went into Razor and stuff, dude. So we saw that backstory, you know. I actually, to be honest, I I thought the whole premise of destroying Pegasus and stuff was stupid because she was far more powerful than Galactica. And stuff you know, and just sacrificing her just just killed me. But I'm just looking for a military perspective, though. Too. Well, for the dramatic perspective, it puts them. Yeah. In a hole oh God, them. yes, it does. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Ronald so, D. Moore. You know, Ronald D. Yeah, Moore is yeah, fantastic, yeah. and uh, dude, boy, I wish he was yeah. writing the new Star Trek. Yeah. You know what he's doing? He's doing Outlander. Something for Apple, right? No, uh, Stars. It's a it's a contemporary show. It's based on a woman from World War II who was a medic in, in Britain. She goes to these rocks and she goes back 200 years in Scotland oh. and stuff, dude. Oh, Outlander. And it is, uh, yeah, Outlander. Highlander. It is so, Highlander. No, no, no. no. Outlander. <laughs> it is really good. Oh, hey, it is really good. Boys, yeah. boys. Yes. It's a romance novel. I know it is. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I yes. But you know what? Though? This is, yeah, yeah. But it is. It is directed and it's basically uh, written and uh, with by Ronald D. Moore. And I, you know what? That um, is what I like about act. You know, people like Ronald D. Moore. Is like that. And I could say the same thing about Nolan. Is Nolan goes outside of his Com his wheelhouse. Yeah. Com you know, yeah, what I'm his comfort zone. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's what makes a better director. You know what I'm saying? Because he did, what was it? Uh, that World War II movie? Dunkirk. And stuff. Dunkirk, Dunkirk and stuff. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, he does some really funky off the wall stuff. But dude, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Is that you get stuck in this, this, this rut that is, uh, you know, this comfort zone and you just become stale. Yeah. Well, you that's know? that's like mm -hmm. the problem with Spielberg. Yeah, you exactly. Know? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and hey, Kitty. You... Mm -hmm. Hey, Kitty. Um, it, you, you say romance, uh, but uh, I, I don't. I don't know if uh, you know uh, that the the British bad guy, uh, freaking uh, um, freaking sodomizing. Uh, our, oh. our uh, main character. Yeah, I, I mean, dude, yeah, that, you that, have I, no idea dude, what women will like to read. That's a romance to me, baby. Shit. What? 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 Dude, what? there was a scene, dude, where a dude is being sodomized. In yeah, Alabama. yeah, yeah. This oh, is yeah. The first, and it shows. First season. The no, second oh, season. Man. Holy shit. Yeah, the, oh, yeah. Uh, the, the the British the the bad guy or you know yeah. the the overlord whatever you want to call him uh as as part of uh, uh, Randall Randall yeah uh, as as part of punishing um uh, Jamie Jamie right <clears throat> he decides to uh, bugger him uh, yeah it basically they, they it's kind of like you're a prisoner I'm gonna use you yeah I was so, attracted to you by the yeah. way and I'm not supposed to. Right. 
Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, they even anyway. did a kind of a gay thing too as well, but uh, kind of hey, turned uh, away on that one. Yeah. Hey, uh, Scott, I'm just going to switch out yeah. right now. So, oh, okay. Um, All right. And then you'll come back in for yeah. uh, the JJ. Uh, sure. And, either okay, that or great. the film theater talk. Either one of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just stay in here and yeah. uh, just let me know. And then who else wants to come in? Totally. Because I've got, uh, Fer I got Fer Fernan. Well, I got see if Explorer Gary wants too. to come in. Gary who? I mean, Jerry. <laughs> see you sign. Jerry? Uh, oh, he already see. left. Oh, okay. Gary, not Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if Fer, Fer, Fern's uh, freaking mic is not working. It, I'm going to ask him rare. to leave. It's been rare. And go on. Okay. Uh, no, it's it's fine. Geek time. You can stay here, man. It's fine. Well, when, we're going to be we're going to be talk we're going to be talk we're going to be transitioning here soon, anyways. Yeah, well, when you yeah. get to the falcon, so, or if there's yeah. people backstage, you can swap yeah, me out. I haven't seen it. Six, six. What? Oh, there's I some know. diversity. I know, right? Oh, yeah, we got to fit the quota, man. The black guy. Transition. <laughs> Transition. <laughs> so let's wrap up. Let's wrap up the um, discussion on uh, Katie Sackoff and all that stuff here all, and all that. All I know is she just, you know, she just made a statement saying, you know, kind of agreeing with the, uh, you know, yeah. kind of agreeing with the shut up and act uh, mm -hmm. type of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm kind of surprised she's not getting more flack than what you know. Let me get uh, has, but... let me get Jerry in here and stuff. I'll bring Jerry in here. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Jerry. No Who? Gary, not Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> he puts Horrible it in Jerry. there and you still do yeah. it. I know, right? <laughs> My God. To, because somebody. You know, that's the running joke now, it. right? Yeah. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Man. Uh, Greg over at uh, <laughs> Fanzine and I started a drinking game that anytime you said Jerry, you had to drink. <laughs> oh, God. <Yeah. laughs> I'd be so trashed. <laughs> my god well you know we if you if you weren't trying to use the uh european mm. spelling you know yeah uh -huh. yeah i mean mm -hmm. you, know, you mean the irish uh yeah oh well, that's still part of europe <laughs> right mm -hmm. yeah. don't tell the brits that don't tell the brits that they don't oh. want to <laughs> yeah you, yeah that's those are fighting words <laughs> yeah. yeah right right hey, up my my uh my family originated in that area too, I believe. So I I, I can I can do that man. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know, huh? Whatever, whatever. Whatever. So whatever. um to wrap up this one this segment with uh Katie Sackoff and stuff, she stated too we didn't stop to be like, ooh, female power, woo woo. You take mm -hmm. the lead because you're the prettiest. You know what I mean? This was just the crew that was available. Exactly, dude. I mean, you know what? In this this four trio of women and stuff, the one that's left out is the black chick, the, the wrestler. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And all that yeah. stuff. And we're talking about Katie Sackoff, uh, Wynn, and and uh and Gina, you wait. know? Wait, hold on, so, hold on, wait, wait. There's a black wrestling chick. I know yeah, her. Right? And she's yeah. hot, dude, too. What? Damn. Amber? Uh, her name is Amber Sun. No, it's Mercedes. Uh, Mercedes. Oh, you're talking about Mercedes. Okay. Yeah. Am I? Is that who it yeah. is? Oh, over over Katie's right shoulder. If you scroll. Yeah. Oh no, that's um. I'm, I can't think of a wrestling. Oh, right here. Oh, but, yeah, right I here. know who that is. Uh, because that's Sasha, that's Sasha Banks. Oh. Yes, yeah, that's Banks. it. Sasha Banks. Yeah, 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 yeah. So but her real name's Mercedes. And she said, however, the only reason why all the female scene is even the show is because the writers decided to write out the third Mandalorian. Axe Wolves, played by Simon Cassidines, that previously yeah. appeared, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they basically wrote him out. So, because yeah. it's not girl power. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but, you know, I, I thought it was fine. And I think what she said was pretty straight up, to be honest. Yeah, I think the only thing she got you wrong, was she said they accomplished their mission, but they kind of didn't. Not if really. Luke, if Luke doesn't show yeah. up, they're dead. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then there was a like another article on Bounding in which stated that she's uh, that they kind of attacked her on, in my opinion, and stuff stating, and it's been all over um, 
social media too that she she's she was told that uh, Plo Koon was to show up. But if anybody knows, Plo Koon was killed in the in the purge, and we all saw that in the last movie mm-hmm. during the prequels. Yeah, you know? he got he, he got blown. Yeah, up. he got he got blown up. He was flying yeah. at the time, I yeah. believe. Yeah. So you know, yeah. So um. But yeah, but um, other than that, um, well, the episode, you know, I, you know, I, I, I really appreciate uh, Katie, Katie Sackhoff. I like yeah. her, period, and stuff like that. She's very cordial. I love watching her on YouTube. She's more real than freaking most of these yeah. goddamn celebrities. Mm-hmm. You know? And you can see it. You know, that's what happens when you just be yourself. Right? Yeah, you know, I mean, and right. not just what will make me money yeah. and extend mm-hmm. my career. She's like, mm-hmm. no, what can extend my career is myself. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like uh, it's like I said earlier. Uh, Katie is what Brie Larson wants to be on YouTube. Dude. She may have more numbers, but uh, yeah. Katie has more personality. Her numbers are fake. We all yeah. freaking know. Yeah, that. we all know that. Yeah. Jeez, has anybody so- looked at her channel lately? No. Well, Bree's. Yeah. Okay. Bree was trying to show off what body she does. Well, have. Bree, Bree's turning into a Twitch thought on oh. on YouTube, oh, like literally. God. Yeah, she, <laughs> was showing, <laughs> she, she was showing Tesla tops and how to play Fortnite. Hey, you you can see the mounds Venus on her. Okay, that's how close the camera oh, got. Oh, dude. <laughs> okay. I, I, I used to <laughs> disgusting. I, gotta, I, I, I was gonna it. comment. I was gonna comment Dude. on uh, one of Bree. Uh, I was gonna comment on one of Bree's videos, uh, but she uh, mm, she mm. said that you know if I didn't have anything nice to say to keep my comments to myself. So oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I, uh, I, I just like to go grab weirdo clips from her videos and put them in my intro video every Tuesday because <laughs> she's just so freaking bizarre. <laughs> Uh, in the chat, Willie Woodward goes too true about C- Katie Sackhoff being more real. Yeah, if a hey, yeah. chat, if you all have had a chance, go over to Katie Sackhoff's channel and stuff. I'm telling mm-hmm. you what, dude, she she's got some topics that I wouldn't want to listen to because I'm a male. I don't want to listen about fucking periods, okay? But mm-hmm. still, she's got a lot of good stuff about uh, working out, how not to, what she's done wrong. Uh, what she does, why she does it, and stuff like that, you know. What about and if you're not aware you? of it too? She's she's dating freaking Carl Urban, dude. And I just uh, not anymore. Bad. Yeah, according to our but private, they, were. they 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 quit in like 2018. Uh, now she's was, uh, uh, with hmm. some no name dude, uh, a regular oh, peon man. like us. Oh, uh, that's cool. I'm not really surprised because who Rob, would, you Robin know what I'm saying. Gadsby. Well, whatever. I don't know. You know, whatever it is. But um, hey, you'll you know, be uh, accused of stalking if you find out who they're dating. Yeah. And so so I got accused of stalking. So you know, a couple. She times. did say something about, um, and I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the chat can uh, confirm this or whatever. But she stated that she'd love to. It's on her bucket list to play in Star Trek, but. I wouldn't want to see her in Star Trek the, right no, now. But put no, but no, no, no. put her on the no, Orville. Put on the Orville. You, you, oh, do know ooh, Disney's tr- you do Orville know Disney's. You do know. You do know Disney's trying to buy the Orville IP, right? Uh, they the, own it. No, they don't own it. They don't. They don't own it yet. Oh, they yeah. want. They want. No, it. they don't. Oh, I see what you. They're mean. They're trying to buy the IP buy from outright. McFarlane. Yeah. Yeah, they're trying and to buy that. Is basically yeah. doing double fingers, like no, you won't. No, he's like yeah. he's bitten the middle finger up multiple times. Yeah. So yeah. You know. I don't you know, know about says, that guy. Yeah. I mean, he he put out he puts out some good stuff. I mean, I love Family mm-hmm. Guy. Yeah. And I haven't seen a whole lot of the Orville, but mm-hmm. what I have seen, it's I like so it. Good. But this is a great but, transition but, but to he, the Orville uh, talk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but Seth, Go ahead. Seth McFarlane, Seth, mm-hmm. Seth McFarlane, like yeah. uh, like yeah. a, a lot of uh, the rest of Hollywood. Uh, yeah. Make some dumbass tweets. Uh, oh yeah, I know, yeah he does. I know. He yeah. does. But, well, everything's but, for but, sale. I don't care what he says. Everything's for sale if the price yeah. is right. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. We we oh, never yeah. thought Lucas would sell Star Wars, but exactly. he did. So you know what though? The thing is, is the reason I put the Orville in here is because 
I absolutely adore the show. I love the show. Gary Nerd Roddick got to go see the set. And I know. Said, oh, yeah, the next season is going to be phenomenal. But I'm like, what the hell is going on with it? Because, like, I've been, like, waiting. And I'm like, yeah. what the hell? I got I got Hulu for no freaking reason. And it's like, <laughs> come on. You know, what do you guys think? Well, What's going on? Because I can't find well, anything. I, from what I know, and I, I forgot the stream that mm -hmm. I was listening to earlier today, okay. but so far, um, they have actually put out the first five episode titles. Um, okay. And they're adding a new uh, crew member to be the new helmsman. I had to find her name. but What? Uh, yeah. Why? Uh, Did they replace uh, somebody? Uh, remember, I think uh, the uh, one uh, dude got promoted. Yeah, yeah, he's the, yeah, yeah, he's the chief engineer, and now oh, they need sweet. a helmsman. Okay, yeah, got you, yeah. gotcha. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Find, let's see. Let oh, wow, but yeah, oh, she's a, a female, cutie. huh? Yeah, she's a, she's a little cutie, you know. Wow. She's, I yeah. you know what? I can, you know, I can't, you know, I can't stand is the new uh, the girl that replaced season one's girl. See, I alien. like her better than the other girl. You know, you, this is the only reason why I don't like her. Okay, this is really stupid. You guys can freaking tear me to pieces. It's the hairdo. The hairdo is driving me nuts. What? Yes. <laughs> I told you. Hairdo. Wow, She's like, what? Wow. Dark. <laughs> Well, some hairdos look bad, so just it saying. looks weird. It's all like pulled mm -hmm. off the side. It's like gripping to her face, you know. Okay, here's like here's a ponytail. The, here's the thing. Like I said, I haven't seen a whole Let's lot of the see. Orville, but mm -hmm. it, it here, here's the thing. If they're switching from a uh, male helmsman to a female mm -hmm. helmsman, a black, well, he got um, a black male, yeah. Uh, that they, you know the, the insurance. The insurance is going to go down. Okay. Uh -huh. you know, oh, okay. Because, gotcha. You know, <laughs> because of the female driver, but at the same time, uh, Are you sure they're, about they're, that? They're, yeah. They're, yeah. They're, yeah. I thought oh. they crashed more. Yeah. Is, you but, know, well, here's, on my past exes. That's, 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 no, that's, yeah. that's what I'm getting yeah. to. The insurance is going to on the Orville is going to go yeah. down. But mm -hmm. it, they're going to spend a lot more time in the body shop because yeah, they are. Uh, that's, that's <laughs> well, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. From, from the news, from the news that I got. Okay, yeah. remember at the end of season two, what happened mm -hmm. with um, Isaac's people and yeah. the in the Union fleet? It, the Union mm -hmm. fleet basically got decimated. Oh God, and, yes. Mm -hmm. And only when they got the krill that they were able to fight them back. That was so, cool. So the theory goes is that mm -hmm. one of the, the one of the main ships that made it out was the Orville. So uh -huh. since the Orville was not a flagship originally, it was uh -huh. just a regular space vessel, it might right. become more of the flagship Star Trek Enterprise role uh, in season three. Well, so, what about, you know, I'd like to really see them uh, explore mm -hmm. more of the universe of what the Orville is and stuff right now, it seems to be so narrowed and stuff like that, you know, but I understand what McFarlane is trying to do because he's following the model of TNG and TOS mm -hmm. and stuff. And I respect that and stuff, but I want to see more of the, the universe yeah. of it. Other species like, within like, the, the, okay, I want to see yeah. all the species in the, in, in the union. I want to yeah, see Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I want to see well, them, yeah. you know, and all that. So, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like the only okay, thing I want to see less of is the uh, holodeck sex capades. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, that's too funny. Wait, wait what? There's, wait, what? There's what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he's like, go what? back to watch it. Back. He's uh, like, I want to go rewatch this. What's yeah. going on? <laughs> what? No, like I said, I've only seen like the first few episodes of this thing. It was, oh, yeah. well, well, then you need to get your butt over there and watch Yeah, the you'll rest. be disappointed because it's not a, with the girl, it's with yeah. Clyden. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and time. I always wondered any, what, uh... what led to her leaving the show because, you know, they're, they're still seeing each other, her and Seth. And I was wondering if that played a part into her leaving the show. No, she was obligated to another show. She was only, uh, my understanding, contracted for this first season. They yeah, didn't know if she's the second on... season was going to be picked up. That was why. Well, she did a movie. Yeah, because she's on she Prodigal Son. 
Yeah. She mm-hmm. she's also the one of the main characters on Prodigal Son. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So it okay. it could be really? and I've seen this before, it could be that she was on the show, then they offered her an offer she couldn't refuse, and she talked to Seth and he's like, Okay, you can go over there, you know, because they're still dating. Right. He's like, okay, I'll re- I'll replace you with somebody else. Yeah. So I've seen that happen a dozen, a dozen times. Yeah, they, like, that happens all the time. They didn't yeah. even know if they're going to get a season two. You get, yeah. you know, uh, ob- you know, you sign another contract for a new show that's coming up or whatever it is. Of course, you know, you don't know what's going on. You've got to get to that next gig. You know what I'm saying? I totally understand that. Respect that. Um, but you know, I don't think now they could really bring her back and swap her out. To be honest. Uh, a lot of people no, seem couldn't. to like the new one more so, really, to be honest. So I mean, all that. I mean, she's on Prodigal Son with Michael Sheen, for crying out loud. Yeah. Which is a yeah. really good show. And is proof it? that when yeah. Greg Berlanti is not directly involved with the mm-hmm. writing, he can produce really good shows. What is it, Prodigal Son? Yeah, yeah it is a Son. good show. It's yeah, damn it, good. It, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah it, it's kind of like a little bit of Hannibal Lecter and... Uh, yeah. What if the profiler Psycho, is Psycho. the yeah. profiler himself is the son uh, of a prolific serial killer? Yep. Oh, gotcha. And he consults yeah, his own dad. News, man. <laughs> yeah, and he consults gotcha. his Go dad ahead. to help with uh, with cases. And on top of that, he suffers from mental problems. Yeah, mm. and that's why you get Michael Sheen. <laughs> Gotcha, it's just gotcha. a fun, oh, wow. fun show. Huh. Yeah, she's the blood sister in Prodigal Son. Oh, okay. Huh. I don't know it's what's gonna, gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? But I, it's it's really driving me nuts though, because I because we've got no Star Trek and mm-hmm. I'm not gonna watch Discovery because it's trash. We have and old stuff. Star Trek and that's all that matters. Yeah, but yeah. I don't yeah. even want to watch that either right now. So wow, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's not even that. Seen... No, it's not that. I'm just kind of burned out of Star Trek. I want to see new Star Trek, not this crap that we're getting. Yeah, have, have you? Well, no, you're getting new trick. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Oh uh, no, this up, yeah. This came up last week. If if Paramount uh-huh. Plus was to invest in remastering DS9 oh. and Voyager, like they did Next oh, Gen, God. Like, oh. up, it, the cost would be about twenty million per show. Oh, but they're paying right now between six and eight million per episode of Discovery. Oh, so it's like God, that's still episodes. a lot. But right. but, but they, they wouldn't make that lose, money back. Yeah, they, right. W- wouldn't you They'll sign never up? Make it back. Wouldn't God you watch no. those? Fuck huh? no. Oh hell no. Why God not? no. Dude, I still say I God. still say why they keep that on. It's maybe some money laundering scheme. Why right. <laughs> Discovery, Discovery is still on? It's a tax write off. That's why they don't care about the writing. They're like, let's be diverse and make fun of the fans, you know? I've said this. I've said Mm. Michael Sheen would be a perfect doctor for Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of us have said that. Yeah. I I I want him to be the doctor so bad. Or, or, yeah, I would say, and I even said this, I said he'd be a good doctor or a good master. He'd be Either an one. excellent master. I think he would he would um be in Delgado's range right there. Dude, I know? don't know shit about freaking yeah, so. Doctor Who, okay? So uh, uh, have you guys seen, I don't know have you anything. Guys seen what we left behind. Yeah. So. It's a bit a British series about a time I know traveler it who is. doesn't really time travel. <laughs> yeah. Let's not go down this rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. We we, know, we right? don't yeah. talk about the children yeah. episode, okay? That's that right, that's okay. not part of canon, okay? Dude, my, okay check, this out. <laughs> check this out. I have a sixteen year old son who's a high functional autistic. He loves Doctor Who and couldn't yeah. stand this new season. Yeah. It was god awful. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah, it is. It's tough, dude. He was actually looking forward to seeing what they were gonna do. This stuff, dude, and like Gary said too as well, nerdrotic. It's up, and my my son's like, dude, what the hell did they do? Oh, no, it, it's you know, kid nets so, over there, you know, that doesn't know yeah. how to do anything. Their biggest oh, money maker, big. and they yeah. just put it right down the toilet. Yeah, yeah, like, it, it kind of reminded me of that episode of Family Guy when they 
they brought up how Muppets sounded all wrong after all the original voice cast left. And mm -hmm. yeah, that's how Doctor Who right. felt. It was just, it felt unnatural, uneven. Yeah, yeah. yeah from the music, and, and, from the cin uh, uh, cinematography, everything. And, and not well, to mention the other day on Twitter, the Doctor Who Twitter went and rubbed it in the face of everybody to put Rose and and you know and and Tenant's doctor together. No, like they're I was like, okay, is this a desperate cry because you pissed off all the fans that had been there for 50 years for you? And it sounds like you're getting a little right. bit desperate because you're not making money no more because you pissed off all the loyal fans like me. Right. And yep. thousands and thousands and hundreds of others that've been around, you know. Yeah, have, have you know, you, uh, you know, Gary Nerd Rock was saying he goes, "I'd love to see Peter Dinklage as the new Doctor," and I'm like, "Dude, that would be so interesting." I would. I, watch I, would, that. I agree with that. I yeah. would so watch that. With I was the like, writer, <laughs> writer, show writer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Man, because I, you know what, I don't know about you guys, but. In Game of Thrones, with him being in it as a little person, and I don't know if that's the the right word to call him, and stuff like that. But you know what? I don't think of him as that in the show. He is such a large character yeah. and stuff, dude. And so just, I would even go as far as like, say he wow. was one of the biggest characters in the dude. show, if oh, not yeah. the oh, biggest dude, character. Yeah. You know? yeah, he was the yeah. most mythological. Yeah, just the most. Just oh he my was God. my one of my favorites. He was my favorite. Like, yeah, yeah, he yeah. was like I, I yeah. love him. Oh, and he's yeah. charismatic as hell. Yeah, yes, ex that's the word I was looking for, dude. Totally, yeah. completely. So I was he was just smart, like, oh charismatic, yeah. backstabby. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's yes. a, he would be. Yeah. He, yeah. Was a, he was a classical tactician, even mm -hmm. military strategist. And stuff, yeah. dude, and uh, they completely yeah. just I know his character stayed true all the way to the end. Uh, to a certain degree, <laughs> to a certain degree, certain degree, stuff like that. But he got um, dumber. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But the thing <laughs> is, in trying to go back to the Star Trek situation and stuff, Star Trek, if you guys don't all know, my um I, I'm a huge Star Trek fan. That is my love, actually, mm -hmm. in in uh, in fandom, as stuff like that, and it hurts me so much mm -hmm. as a fan and stuff. And when I listen to Robert Burnett talk about things, dude, it hurts me even more because he's actually more more passionate than I am. He can actually do these things. It's a per yeah. someone like him needs to be head of freaking Star Trek. All I of agree. it. Him and Mark. I, I would say yep. Doomcock and Robert no, 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 showrunners. No, Mar just, just Mark, like you know, Mark A. Yeah. Altman and Robert Meyer Burnett should be. Dude, because, <laughs> dude, you know what he was working on? Uh, Axonar. He showed a lot of the footage. It was raw footage and stuff like that. But he, I think he's also worked on a lot of other fan films besides this. And, stuff. and I have a real appreciation for the fan films of Star Trek, mm -hmm. even Star Wars. And some of the other stuff, fan films, too, as well. And I say that because, dude, these guys are working on a half a million or a million dollar budget yeah. that makes a 30 minute to an hour an episode and stuff like that. Yes, some of the dialogue and acting is a little cheesy, but I could overlook that. I don't need it to be pretty and crisp and stuff, but they need to get their shit together. They need to get back to the basics you know what I'm saying? Like, they if have, I, okay, theoretically, if I controlled Star Trek, dude, I would have it on the streaming network, but dude, I would give limitations to all fan films. You can make a million dollars per episode, okay? We will stream it for free. You'll get 1% of the freaking profits on the streaming network. And then I would see who does the best of it and then say, hey, You've got a let's say thirty million dollar budget. Go make a TV show with five seasons. Yeah, and go boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There you well, go. Even, well, even yeah. Seth has said how expensive the Orville has been just on these two seasons. Who said and, that? Uh, the Seth with the Orville and oh. how expensive it is. Really? And, Why? Though? Yeah, it's very expensive. Um, Why? Way well, it is because 
well, go ahead. That's how, well, uh, well for one thing, you're doing a lot of stuff from scratch. And also, they're doing old techniques. Yeah. You know, they yeah. they maybe update them. Like, they skate. Okay, they make the models for the ships mm -hmm. in real time. And then they right. scan them into the computer so they oh, can do the yeah, CGI. Yeah, yeah. But right, anytime right. that you see the Orville, that is based off a real model. The oh, no, I know Gar that. Yeah. yeah, but they do a yeah. lot of real effects stuff yeah. because that's what, mm -hmm. you know, he's like, that's what made it feel real was, uh, you know, yeah. real effects and not just, you only depend on CGI on stuff that you cannot do yourself. Exactly. You know? And that's why I don't understand. You know, I understand that because they had to create a lot of stuff, but as the seasons go on, it should become cheaper because of the fact that they have a full set, a real working set. Right. Well, I, from what we know from Gary, they actually expanded the set. Yeah. To do what? It's, it's, I think bigger. it's now. I I think it's now like what three tiers? Is it? Yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't know, but because yeah. they said, yeah, I think yeah. it's three tiers now. So yeah. they could actually, because remember that one scene where they're going down the uh, stair uh, stairway and they're going oh, level wow. to level. So yeah. I think they're able to do yeah. more stuff like that. Huh. They 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 wanted to do a more multi level so you can see more parts of the ship. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so wow. everything is attached more sure. together. Yeah. Right. But kinda right. like how Star Trek was where in a you yeah, know, right. you only saw certain parts and then as the series went on you saw more. What mm -hmm. made you know what I'm dying so great is that yeah. they, they built like the entire promenade as a set with both levels. I know. So oh. you were able to do a lot oh, more with yeah. that way. So you know, I love that set. Yeah. 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 That set is beautiful. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, that's the one thing I've always wanted to go on the promenade. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> you could you could follow with a steady cam, follow a character, get in the lift, go yeah. down, come out on the bottom. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to do any editing. It was it felt more, you know, organic, yeah. real. There's yeah. A, yeah, but the thing is is then if if it costs so much, you know, I mean I mean I understand you need to make physical sets and stuff like that, you know. But and there's gotta forget, be a you know, way to you know Well here's the thing, Norman, I'll tell you, it's not just the set. There's insurance, there's the costumes, mm -hmm. there's insurance is a huge part of it. Yeah, and I know this because I, stunts. yeah, I know I know this from growing oh. around the in the convention industry and, and, and like growing up around movie sets and all mm -hmm. this other stuff when I was younger. Mm -hmm. it, it's not just one thing; it's costume and it's you know yeah. it's it's mm -hmm. insurance, it's the catering. Yeah. It's, it's, oh yeah. There's I, all I these little. Th there's the grips, yeah. the staff, the prosthetics. Yeah, yeah, there's there's mm -hmm. so yeah. much involved that you wouldn't people yeah. don't think about. They're like, it was that I was like, it takes and then when I grew up around all this stuff, it was practical effects. Mm -hmm. So it was even yeah. cooler. You yeah. know, so you know it's funny yeah. you know, they're not shooting yeah. on film anymore. If they were doing film and they'd yeah. bailies, yeah. it'd be even more expensive. Yeah, it yeah. would. If it was shooting on film, like you said, it'd be it's super more expensive than it would be. Right. So it all adds up. And think about it. Back when they were doing, like, you know, the Rick Berman Star Trek, they were doing 26 episodes a season on film, on 35 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah. 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 Was, and you know, yeah. you know, now they it do was, 8, 12, you know, 13. Yeah. Right. Have do you, you think heard, that... Hmm? Go ahead, Shellback. Have you guys heard of that uh, documentary movie? Oh, it's fantastic. One, this one right here? I've never even heard, seen it. Oh, yeah. it's so good. What, what we left behind... behind? Yeah. It's a very it, good documentary. I loved it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. it's it really gets a little that. woke. It gets a little woke at parts. Oh, in yeah. part. But but uh, overall it's a damn good uh, uh oh, okay. documentary. On top of that, you mm -hmm. get to see some of the guys get back together again, uh the mm -hmm. writers. And oh, yeah. they wow. create what would have come next. And yeah. oh wow. Uh, and to be honest with you, you guys season. brought up who should be running Star Trek. The person that should be running Star Trek mm -hmm. is the person that got fucked over by Star Trek. And that's uh, uh -huh, Ronald, Vic. Ronald Moore. No, yeah. Ronald Moore. Oh, I thought you were going to yeah. say Vic, too. Because yeah. so. Moore was promised uh, the next uh, series. Yeah. And yeah. he literally forgot something yeah. at the office and went back and caught Brandon Braga and uh, what's his name having a private meeting after hours about the enterprise uh -huh. 
And when he realized what oh, they were doing, really? he's like, yeah. fuck you guys. And he quit oh, and left. Shit. Yeah. And oh, Star shit. Trek oh, owes wow. more because he, um, and I'm not going to say single-handedly, mm -hmm. but really close single-handedly saved Star Trek. Yeah. And when they fucked him over, his response was to go make a series that would get them canceled. It was um, mm -hmm. uh, Les Moonves hates sci-fi. He mm -hmm. hated Star Trek, but it wasn't because Star Trek was Star Trek. He just hates sci-fi. Right. And so, therefore, he hated Star Trek. And he wanted mm -hmm. it gone. And then Ronald Moore creates Battlestar Galactica for sci-fi. Yeah. Holy and shit. Despite the final season of, of Enterprise uh -huh. doing what he had said, he yeah. says, you need to do this. Uh, bring the viewership and uh, oh. get back on the rails. Uh, and they did everything that he requested of him, and he still uh -huh. canceled it because, and th these were his words, he wanted something more like Battlestar Galactica, and they would have had it if they hadn't fucked over Ronald B. Moore. Right, yeah. Yep. True. I agree with <sighs> you there. So that was Moore's revenge. Like this sounds like a guy that has uh, no imagination that was running CBS. No, oh, Les no, Moonves, Les, he, oh, he was a piece of shit. If he was, at, yeah. If he thought he had BMB, Star Wars when he got it, to Star Trek. It, he it, this is B&B, was B &B, wasn't it? Uh, this is B&B, &B, right, guys? I, I didn't catch the question. Was Is that who you're talking about, B&B? &B? Les Moonves. Uh, no, we're, I'm talking about Brandon Les Moonves. Braga. Yeah, he's yeah. a complete oh, piece of shit. Oh, Brandon yeah. Braga was one of the people, and Brandon Braga, of course, is over on the Orville. And oh, yeah. there are a lot of us from Star Trek, you know, fans of Star yeah, Trek, yeah. Uh, yeah. that don't like him because of mm -hmm. some of the shit that he did. Oh yeah, um, I don't doubt it. Yeah, because uh, he was an asshole, and um, yeah. uh, and, and you know, and I hate using the word sexist, mm -hmm. uh, but he was a sexist. Right. And uh, he's yeah. the reason why uh, shows had to have yeah. hot women in tight suits. Ah, so seven of nine. <laughs> right. Yeah. You, uh, you need to watch he was that. Uh, for a while well, even the Vulcan. Uh, what's oh, her name oh, on yeah, Star yeah, Trek? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, Enterprise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was all him. Really? I mean, he's like, yeah. oh, a chick in tight must have. Yeah. Must have body. Must have been <sighs> hot. In Enterprise, he's got those. Yeah. They've had several scenes like where they they have to rub each other down with like. Oh oil. yeah, the sun. Oh, yeah, the, after the oh the, yeah, just they're getting yeah. quarantined or whatever, and they yeah. Oh, yeah, the yeah. shower. It, it's like what you oh, would see, dude. The, you know, the build up, That's the big porn so scene. Unnecessary. <laughs> it really yeah. stuff was ridiculous. The it only did. good part like of porn, Star yeah. Trek, or the only good part of Enterprise, was season one and four, and, and four. they could have turned it around if they left Manny Cotto in freaking control. Right. Well, what happened that was that guy knew what he was doing. They told Manny for season four it was already canceled, and so Manny yeah, said, no, "All yeah. right, let's do whatever we want now." Yeah, exactly. and that's exactly he actually, what they did. dude. Yeah, I was, was so into four, or season four. I was like, "Now this is Star Trek." It, it's funny you bring Manny up because I listened to dude. a great podcast that mm -hmm. Burnett's on and Mark Altman yeah. hosts called Inglorious uh -huh. Trek Experts. You should check it out. Okay. okay, they had Manny on I think back in October ish, uh -huh. and he yeah. said he's been in the writers' rooms of the new Star Treks. And oh, they God. say, don't put Star Trek stuff into our Star Trek. That's mm -hmm. like a mantra in the writing what room. The yeah, fuck? I've even heard. I've they want to make it into Robert something too. that it's not. They want to make it into something that they want, not what it is. But That's it has to have the, the Star Trek is. name on it. Well, right. this this started in, in 2009 Trek. because J.J. Yeah. Yes. Abrams is not a fan of Star Trek. No, he he wanted to turn Star, Star Trek... He is of Star Wars, but he's not the kind of fan like we are. Yeah, um, right. And he wanted to Star Wars Star Trek. So if you look at like uh, what he did with with his version of Star Trek, okay. it has the high action, uh, the high adventure of Star Wars with a lot of spectacle yeah. scenes. Mm -hmm. Whereas what we were used to with Star Trek, even the movies, that it would have occasional big epic moments but it was a mm -hmm. lot of character-driven scenes between. Well, That's or, not what he wanted. He wanted spectacle, spectacle, spectacle. Yeah, exactly, Gary, because Star Trek had adventure, but it didn't have action. Like, it wasn't an action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know what? Symmetra, what is it? The, the green chick, the black, the black woman on Discovery? Dude, 
She was a horrible character when she was on The Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, she went out like a boss in the end. But she yeah, but she's not a very good actor character. to begin with. No, she's, she's not. not. She's just not a good actor. She's horrible. That um, their cast is just there's a horrible. Great, there's a great clip of J.J. Abrams out there from back when they made the first oh, movie God, where dude. he's on Jon Stewart's Daily Show. And he says, I, I don't even like Star Trek. I don't watch it. And and, mm. and John Stewart's like, I'm sorry, I stopped listening when you said I don't like Star Trek. And that's that that's okay. Nick Meyer didn't know anything about Star Trek, and neither did Harv Bennett when they took over for Wrath of Khan. Yeah. Well, did Nick you, Meyer then, did something amazing. They watched um, all 79 he, episodes and learned what it is. But on mm -hmm. top of that, yeah. Nicholas Meyer uh, brought with him a passion about the Navy. Yes. Absolutely. And yes. and he had to fight with Gene Roddenberry. Yep to get that into Star Trek because he says it needs to be in there because yeah. that's what you have. This is yeah. the Navy in it's space. meritocracy. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. 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 And so thank you, Nicholas Meyer, for, for bringing that to us. Yeah. God yeah. bless. Nick Nicholas Meyer and Meyer. Harf Bennett yeah. saved it the first time. Yeah. Ronald D. Moore, Ira Bear saved it the second time. Um, <laughs> you know, normally I don't really love a lot of stuff, but I love Star Trek. Yeah, and stuff. It, it, and yeah. It, it it utterly it it decimates me inside. It crushes my heart that it's this yeah. dead. Yeah, it, it's oh. it's the same way with me because you know I grew up with it with my dad. Exactly. I mean, oh, I yeah. I learned English when I was over mm -hmm. in Germany uh, right. with TNG. Mm -hmm. You right. know, because I was born mm -hmm. over in Europe, mm -hmm. and so. For me, it's just like it's, it's like I've seen my relationship between me and my dad die. Right. Yeah. Exactly. It's it's and you know I don't I just don't understand this. Like I did an episode. Uh, I did a roof. Um, I did a. Uh, I did a. Um, episode. I think uh, on strange new worlds and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I stated. I said stop screwing with our franchise is that what did i what is the damn title of it and stuff like that and this is how i feel about it stop experimenting with my beloved star trek it has already addressed your issues and why yep it's it's like i i rewatched uh an episode of yep. that oh gosh what season five uh uh, uh the outcast uh, if you remember, that's the one about the genderless uh, race and Riker oh, starts yeah, falling yeah, in yeah, love. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a great episode. Oh, my and, God. And we're all pointing to it. It's like, you yeah. fuckers. You know why? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ahead. look at yeah. that. <laughs> because the people well, that, who are running yeah. Star Trek right now have not done their homework. They, I, I guarantee they've been shown like Wrath of Khan, a couple of the, like the best of both oh. worlds, like just the highlights of what Star Trek lore is. And that's what they yeah. based the whole principle on. Yeah. And the so other bad. thing too, the other thing too is, is that this is where I see it, because they didn't write it; they've got to create it so Correct. that they can say it's been done when yeah. we decided it was being done, not when these fascist freaking white males did it in the past. Yeah, yeah exactly. And that's what this is about. If they yep. saw Rat the Con, they'd be doing better than what they're doing now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. hey, you know what? Yeah. Some of the most interesting episodes like Riker and the Genderless Society, or even DS9, that species that came on board and she couldn't walk, mm -hmm. and Bashir had to give her a yeah. walking mechanism uh, and a wheelchair and stuff. It was a, and yeah, it was a wheelchair. Yeah. Because she exactly. couldn't take the gravity. Yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. Or like the yeah. episode of the genetically enhanced, disabled, and dangerous genetic uh, anomalies like Khan. It's or like that too. Uh, or you eugenics know? that happened with, mm -hmm. uh, with, with uh, Bashir's parents did to him. Or what about mm -hmm. the, the, you know, there was just so many episodes we can all draw on that address everything, you know... Um, all the uh, check marks. All the yeah, check all marks. Them. Yeah. And the other thing and too is, okay. <laughs> yeah. and, and the thing yeah. is too is you you don't even they don't even realize from TOS the 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 milestones that Star Trek paved the way for. Yep. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Stuff, they they did. Had, I mean, it's insane. And stuff like that. You know, the, the fact that, you know, from Kirk kissing Nic- uh, Nicole on screen mm-hmm. was unheard of in that time period. I'm yeah, so stuff, they almost didn't even get that on TV. Yeah. They made two cuts, you know? Yeah. 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 Yeah, and then and then Nicole knew Martin Luther King Jr. and so she was talking about leaving the show, and she and he influenced her to stay on the show. Well, yeah, she, yeah, it's, he like, said, it's just it's just everything went on in TOS. People have no idea. Oh, they it's they a, tried to cancel them oh, even back in the day, oh numerous oh, times. Oh, I know. Mm-hmm. But it, 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 was, it was like it was almost a yeah. weekly, monthly occurrence. And We're then, gonna cancel the show. We're gonna cancel the show. Yeah. We're gonna cancel then, it. You can't do this. The saved, network's like, you can't do this. And yeah. who saved Star Trek from being created? Who who helped? Uh, Lucille, Lucille Ball. Ball. Yeah. Nobody talks. A woman. A woman yeah. of that time yeah. period that was mainly in what is it? Ryan co- refers to them as laying on their backs, having a good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, geez. stuff yeah. like that, dude. You know what I'm saying? And stuff, dude. Yeah. I mean, there is so much that Star Trek have, has influenced on our lives, and they're trying to reinvent the wheel that's already been created. Yeah, it's Why like there's that. Only- yeah, go ahead. There's a piece of fan art, a uh, very high detail fan art of Lucille Ball in the captain's chair. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's like, that. yeah. They, yeah. Oh, they, oh. Miss, oh. they oh, I would love basic, to see that. They, they, oh, they, they don't up. even have the basic tenets of Star Trek in the new shows. Like the yeah. third episode of Picard is where I gave up, where he goes to the. Oh, my God. Over it's to the. Horrible. It's that woman oh, I who's living out in on the first one. Yeah, I, I was like, <laughs> right. She's living in a trailer, right? Remember this? And uh, if you've seen right? it, and Picard's trying to recruit her to come back, and she starts going, Oh, wow, well, it must be nice to be a rich white guy living in a right? mansion a vineyard. I'm living in a trailer. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, There's no right. class warfare money in Star Trek. What the yeah. hell? Are you doing? Uh, yeah, exactly. that's what I'm saying. Right. You know, that's I, right there in the middle of that episode, I went on CBS All Access, quit, uh, and told them why. Garbage. I saw the very first episode, and that was because it was being shown for free on YouTube. Right. Uh-huh. Uh huh. That's what I did. That's uh, what other, I did. Than, other than that, and which you know I'm, what? I'm glad. I'm glad because yeah. you know, from what I've yeah. been told, uh, Picard should have been uh, instead of being called Picard, it should have been oh called. Is I'm that real? Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. The Picard. I'm sorry. Tour. Yes. Yeah. I'm is that sorry. A, is that, yeah, yeah. Watch the um, sure, watch the red letter media review of Picard. It's awesome. Yeah. No, that's 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 fan art. Oh yeah, Jerry, show <laughs> us. Show us. Uh, there Let's you go. It. Um, I'll pull oh. up the folder. Oh, nice. uh, I painted this in 1990. Oh. This is not the official artwork I did. Uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. I did a series as a private commission. Uh-huh. That's awesome. Um, uh-huh. Oh, that's cool. Here's dude. Worf. Oh, Ooh, nice. Uh-huh. Oh, nice. Oh, and the data is oh nice. Oh, my God. Man. Here's my I love how raw it is. Ooh. Look at the Enterprise. Look at the features. Yeah, these on, were hand brushed on, on uh, acrylic oh on uh, uh, illustration board. But then I got hired by FXM Incorporated. Oh, wait. Mm-hmm. Here's another private commission uh, that I oh. did. This is hanging at one of my childhood best friend's house. That oh. is beautiful, dude. Oh my god! But this is what I got hired to paint. Um, <laughs> Keith this <Horn>. was, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the this speed. is okay. the, battle Nare- <laughs> the battle at the battle at Narendra Three. Oh yeah, wow. Enterprise oh, C. That's fucking, awesome. Uh, yeah, Internet. when it came back through the rift, uh, I am because I'm friends with well, was friends with Keith Birdsong. He passed away, and I'm still friends mm-hmm. with Drew Blair. And we were the three best-known Star Trek artists in the 90s. Oh, and um, oh, I am to date the only Star Trek artist to be commissioned to do battles from Star mm-hmm. Trek. Oh, wow. And this one is one of my favorites. Um, a lot of detail. This is a huge painting. Um, we're watching Twilight. No. <laughs> yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> this is geek porn. Now. I love this shot of the uh, uh, Warbird and, and uh, oh, that's so good, that's, Jerry. That, that's yeah, a beautiful. Yeah, angle. Here. It is. Yeah, I just, get it, uh, dude. The you know what though? It's raw detail. 
that you see in the picture that really pops. Well, there's a oh. funny story. Oh. Let me tell you a story God, about that dude. painting. I, uh, the original painting of this one sold for $10,000 to oh. a, um, at a, um, nice. what do you call it, a, a charity oh. auction at a Star Trek conv convention in Illinois oh. back in 95. Oh. Right. And um, the thing I liked about this one is when you get up closer, it's a huge painting. Mm -hmm. You can see the detail of that enterprise. Well, mm -hmm. the Constitution, uh, Constellation. Mm -hmm. Right. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Constitution class. Right, okay. And, uh, but uh, it was, it's my favorite ship because I put it here too. <laughs> I fucking love the Enterprise C. <laughs> oh, I like the flavors. And Enterprise C was awesome. Oh, My I'm favorite really still the start, motion Nick. picture one, though. Yeah. Niggas but I love all Nick. the Enterprises. So. <laughs> but um, um, uh, going God, back to this one. detail is just, oh. God. I had an incident at that Star Trek convention I was talking mm -hmm. about, and I was selling prints of this. And mm -hmm. there was this guy running around in a uh, onesie Star Trek uniform that was two sizes too small for him. Oh, and no. it was so it was so tight around his okay. belly when he went uh -huh. by me once i saw he was wearing um uh, what are those called anamaru underwear oh my god for adults because i could see the little animals going around the the waistline and he really freaked me out because he didn't walk or run he galloped like he was um uh, here, I'll just show you. Uh, Someone's uh, asking on you if you've got a, a, a website, by the way, Jerry. Uh, yeah, I do, but it's it's long in the tooth. I'll share it in the in the um, so he was a chat and you can share it. Okay, but cool. uh, he would Make do that, that gallop like this. Yeah, you know? I, I know. I know. And it it was freaking me out. And uh, uh -huh. and I'm sitting next to this guy that was a Jawa in Star Wars. I was one of the guest artists at this con. And there's this guy next to me who's like was a Jawa and he sold artwork and he was really weird. That's cool. And um, so this guy looks over at me and he sees that painting behind me, uh -huh. and his guy eyes just got huge and he started galloping at me, and I I felt like I understood what it felt like to have a silverback gorilla come at you suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> and I began pressing myself into the back of my chair like I was going to get away from him. And yeah. and he came up to me, he put his hands on the table, and he goes, did you paint that? And I went, y yes, I did. And he says, oh, my God, I bought that out of Sci Science Fiction Age magazine. I, I, have, I have that poster at home. If, if, if I go home and get that and bring it back, will you sign it for me? And I'm like, anything that'll get you the fuck away from me? I answer is yes. <laughs> and, uh, but I didn't say that. I said yes. Right. I just said yes. Uh, feel free. And he disappeared for like 25, 30 minutes and he came back mm -hmm. and he, he had bought the art print and I signed it for him. Mm -hmm. And he says, I, I want to tell you, man, I, I cannot believe uh, that you got the exact right number of uh, windows on the primary hull and on the secondary Holy hull. Yeah. He says, it is so exact. And I said, well, I've read all of Michael Okuda's tech manuals. Right. I own all the books. Yeah. I also have B. Joe Trimble's uh, uh, concordance. Yep. I said, I, I absolutely know my way around the Enterprise C thanks to those books. And he goes, well, your hard work shows. And I went, well, thank you. And and he left happily, and uh, it was a great moment. And then the Jawa guy next to me goes, did you read, really read all those books to do the what artwork? About and I said, oh, fuck no. I used the photograph. Of course it's accurate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it made him happy to know that I've owned those books. Yeah, you've got to, you've got to yeah. swear by the technical manuals. Oh, yeah. and the blueprints and Dude, all I've that. got the technical manuals. I got I've Doug Drexler to sign one of them. Yeah, I, I got the blueprints and the books and everything else, yeah. too. So. I got them back in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I won't tell you when I got mine. <laughs> well, okay. I got. I, I'll, I'll share a little bit. I've got mine in the late seventies, the eighties, oh and some of the nineties. Oh, so I, I grew up with all that shit. Yeah, oh, <laughs> God, right? Mora uh, just showed up in the chat. Hello. My girl. Yeah. Hey, uh, Jerry. Uh, I used hey, to I'm sharing the link for my uh, online portfolio. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, it's in the. I used to chat. follow uh, Doug Drexler a lot. Man, he is yeah. not. Oh great. my God, dude. 
Yeah. Yeah. He's gotten recently gotten political and it's just totally turned me off. I, I avoid getting political online yeah. for the most mm -hmm. part. Yeah. Uh, even though if you go to my, my personal Twitter page, I it's clear what my political slant is. But I make it clear right. anyway that Keith, my partner, yeah. is mm -hmm. liberal, Democrat, yeah. and I am conservative, though not a Republican. Um, right. I don't agree with the Republican Party. Um, right. I am conservative, though. I'm a military veteran, served right. with an okay. infantry unit, and you're more likely to find an atheist, which I also am, then you'll mm -hmm. find a, a liberal in an <laughs> infantry unit. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, God bless you for your service, brother. Yeah, Just saying. Too, yeah you, you really don't yeah. want to thank me for that. <laughs> well, I was an well, asshole. I'm just saying. I, but, you know, it, it, I will say this. All if right. it wasn't for people and other people like you, we wouldn't have the freedoms we have today. That, you know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You mean oh, yeah. the ones that are being eroded right now? Yeah, I know. It's yeah. it, well. It, I was it's like, so I got to tell you, I was like John Winger in Stripes. I didn't go in as a young. <laughs> I was a full grown okay, adult. I, love I was Stripes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I watched it the the night before uh, uh, I left. Uh, my best friend signed up with me, and <laughs> we immediately got separated. It's it's not like Stripes at all. Um, but no, we watched the movie. <laughs> but I was a, a comedian in, in the military. Uh, they called me Captain America. Uh, a lot of the time because oh. I'm six foot three and I was bigger and more muscular than everybody in the yeah. unit. I was just a beast. I was always put in charge, uh, but I was also a sarcastic, f funny yeah. prick. And I was mean to a lot of my, fr I'm still, you haven't caught our show. You know that I'm mean to my friends and yeah. in the army, like, <laughs> I, I had this one guy, real friendship. this boy was from Texarkana. His name was Goodrum. And every weekend before we would leave on pass, I would put him on detail. Oh, man. And Kyle Fisher, who is one of my assistants, and he was still one of my best friends to this day from the Army, he's like, boy, why are you always putting him on detail? And I said, because it annoys him. And I, th I think it's funny. <laughs> so as we're getting ready to leave, Goodrum goes, goes, God damn it, Gary, why you got me on detail again? And I turned to him and I said, because you're the only person in this fucking platoon I can trust to get this shit done correctly when I'm not here. And he looked at me and goes, well, I'll, I'll get it done. I said, thanks, Goodrum. He walks away and, and Kyle Fisher's like, boy, you lie. Like, I don't know what the fuck. I mean, I know, but he liked it. It made him feel good. Yeah, he put double the effort in. <laughs> yeah. And I did it to him every weekend. Every fucking weekend he was on detail. I was, up, I'm, I'm a jackass with my friends. I really am. That's funny. And that's you know, why I joined the Navy. Well, we'll see, it's like, for me, if we're going to be representing all the, the branches, you know, my family's that mainly uh, Air Force. So, oh. am I? Am I no. do, you, do you know what, what the in, you know, intermilitary yeah. nicknames are for things? Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, US, uh, U.S. Army is referred to as uh, dogs. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, grunts. Uh, Marines are also referred to as grunts, jarheads, uh, leathernecks. Another one popular in World War II was gyrene. And mm -hmm. then, like, the Navy is referred to as uh, squids, swabbies. Oh. And we all refer to the Air Force as civilians in uniform. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I know, Air I know. Force. Bus drivers. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, but without my dad, especially during the 80s and 90s with J Stars uh -huh. and AWACS and, and oh, all that, yeah. you know, there would be no communications between the sky and the ground. Right. Well, I got to tell you something. When I was uh, uh, transferred to a, a, an ambulance unit, uh, the 308th Med Ambulance in um, at uh, Fort McClellan in California, uh, our base was on the Air Force Base. We had a strip mm -hmm. mall. And um, my first day there, my sergeants, uh, Eugene Tevez and Tom Parker, took me to lunch at the chow hall, which looked like a fucking steakhouse, dark wood. Yep. <laughs> you know, we go inside and there's like, it's electronic <laughs> candlelight and it's really dark and, and sexy. Oh and I'm God. like, what? And I thought my sergeants were fucking with me because I was new. And I'm like, oh my God, this is the this isn't the E club. This is like the fucking uh -huh. officers. It's officers. <laughs> yeah. You know, and so I was apprehensive the whole time we we're there. I got a fucking steak. And I'm like, what the hell? And I will tell you this. I would rather be stationed 
on an Air Force base than anywhere in the world because it's the best fucking food you will ever get. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. I I, oh, yeah. I, 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 have an, I had an uncle there. I had an uncle there, and I got to spend some time over there. That food is 10 out of 10, dude. Steaks. They had oh, steaks. My, oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. It's oh, yeah, so dude. good. They did. They didn't they didn't let me go, so did they well, let me go dude. by the commissary, and you could get all of the stuff that you couldn't get nowhere else? And I was hey. like, yeah. I was like, um, can you bring me over to the base a little bit more down there, please? <laughs> Gary. Hey, Gary. Uh, yeah, man. Prince, uh, first, uh, first trip out of the country, courtesy of the Navy. Uh, yeah. Prince, Prince Sultan Air Base. Oh, Saudi God, Arabia. I was there. Yeah, Saudi I was Arabia. There. I was in Riyadh. Um, yeah. Still, oh, still gosh. to this day, still to this day, one of the best omelets I ever had. Okay, out of a tent. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Made by some guy whose name I can't pronounce. <laughs> um, yeah, right. you know um i mean it was probably like akbar or something you know he was like uh iranian or something you know he was a no he was not iranian it, yeah. he, he was what they called it a he was probably, in third country uh, national you know so like all these people from other countries would come there to work but anyway yeah, it, so it was an air force, force base that. Air Force Base in the middle of the Saudi Arabian desert. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. And not only did I have some good ass food, mm -hmm. but them mofos had not one but two swimming pools. Okay. Oh yeah, in the dude. Of the freaking desert. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah, dude. You know. Do I had a sergeant lightly. named Bajani, who was oh, Middle yeah. Eastern. Yeah. And he was just the coolest dude I think I ever met. He'd come the in. Coolest people, dude. At lights out, he'd mm -hmm. come in and go. Okay, everybody, it's time for lights out. Do you want me to tell you a bedtime story? Like, <laughs> yes, Sergeant Bajani. He's like, last night, I left you all after lights out, and I fucked the shit out of my wife. End of story. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh shit! Good, oh my gosh! I, think I love I loved him. Odd. Now that I think about it, he's been all over the place. It, and it I've was only... probably a it was probably Riyadh, a story that he could only tell uh, you. Saudi Arabia America. is a cool fucking place, but the coolest place I was at it was uh, UAE. United Arab oh, yeah. Emirates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've uh, never uh, been there. I, I'd love to go. Awesome, dude. My buddy, uh, Tom Waltz, he's the senior writer for uh, IDW. Um, he and I are like really close friends. And we found out when we first met, we were like 500 feet apart at Riyadh. It's like, oh my God, I was here. We had at the same chow hall. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. We had like this great bromance moment. You want to hear something? My brother was in the Navy, he was uh, in Bahrain. And yeah. mm -hmm. we were both in the Middle East, and there, my wife, our wives talked, and they kind of figured it out, and then told us, "Hey, um, your brother's in <laughs> in the same base you are at." <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I didn't even know. I'm like, oh great. <laughs> this is just funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I had a, I had one of those weird moments because, like, one of my closest friends, Julian Fuller. Uh, he went on to a different MOS than me, so we went into AIT different places. And I get this guy going, Yo, Kissel, which is not my name, but everybody called me that in the army. He goes, like Yo, Jerry? Kissel, there's somebody at the door for you at the barracks, you know. And I go walking out there, and this little tiny Southern California kid that was a surfer, it turns and looks at me and leaps on me like a girl wanting to have sex. And, <laughs> and, and I'm a giant, and I'm like, what the, oh, my God, Julian, it was like one of the happiest moments in the military I ever had, seeing one of my best friends just show up out of the blue, because that doesn't happen. That, that's just, awesome, dude. Yeah. Well, I'm a giant, I told you that, it's like, people yeah. like jumping on me. Uh, we'd have uh, a game called Fuck Joe, where it's basically, it's an all-out, it's an all-out wrestling match slash pillow fight in a barracks, and, you, and the army pillows are not soft no, uh, so you knock the shit out of somebody hard. when you hit them and i heard this little mexican kid uh, uh benitez he's like right behind me and i hear him do this like crazy uh fucking um kamikaze scream aye, aye, aye. 
you know? <laughs> and I turned my head just in time to hit me. And it was like this. He, he leaps through the air and he goes, boom. And I don't budge. I, I just <laughs> looking at him. And oh the last God. words before I threw him over the bunks was, oh, shit. <laughs> he had zero um, impact on me. <laughs> We you know, uh, we we were at, we were at a bait at the base one time, and I thought I'd be uh, the funny guy and started pillow fighting the bunks there because oh, my yeah, uncle yeah, was one right. of the ranking officers. He let me basically do whatever I want. He bring me on the base, let me come over there, fuck around. But he knew don't do. do. I started what? a pillow fight, and then my uncle came up right behind me and just <laughs> boom, with one of the pillows knocked me on my ass like five feet. What like they're they're heavy, yeah. man. Dude, they are super heady, and they will oh, yeah. knock you on your ass. Like they are, they don't play. Like, <laughs> what, what is it with all this pillow fighting? It's it's yeah. not. It's, it's, no, it happens, dude, in the army, it and it's it not. Does. It's more manly. Come it's on. not sexy. It is it's not, not sexy. sexy. It's it, ugly. It, 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 it must be it, only it, army thing. <laughs> because oh, my brother, my brother it's was in the fucking Marine Corps. brutal. Because my brother was in the Marine Corps and there was no pillow fights. I heard. I mean, I mean, I might expect a, you know, I might expect a, you know, a couple of Air Force people to be pillow fighting, but other than that, you know. well, that that would be Air Force pillows, which are really nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the Marines had it worse than us. I mean, basically, uh, the Marine Corps gets hand-me-downs from the Army. Yes. Uh, for their yeah. supplies. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I always yeah. laugh because like my brother oh. Steve's a Vietnam vet. And he sent home a photo photo of him. And I said, oh, that's great. You're wearing Korean War era equipment from the army. Right. Oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> He's wearing a oh. Korean or era war, uh, uh, what do you call it, Dressing flak for? jacket. No, oh, flak, flak jacket. jacket. Oh. Um, they got stuck with the M14s because the army said, oh, fuck that. Yeah, we, we don't want that thing. It weighs... That's 14 pounds with ammo loaded. No, no. We want something yeah. lighter. You so were like, Army, no, no, no. Oh, we'll pass this over to somebody else, you guys. Well, you know, we're good. What <laughs> do we do with it now? What do we do, Department of Defense? We could we could give it to the Marines. They don't yeah, care. Yeah, the, they'll take it. <laughs> they'll eat anything. <laughs> we don't care if they get back problems with all this stuff. I don't know. And yeah. if you guys don't know, I work for like America's one of America's greatest Marines is Dale Dye, the military guy behind Saving Private Ryan, Band of Brothers, and all that shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm his cool. lead artist. I design everything for them. His company, cool. Warriors Incorporated. And uh, oh, Dale, and, Dale, and I will dude, tell you, he awesome, is the dude. single human being on this planet uh, still alive. That when he says "son" to me, my ass clinches. Oh. <laughs> yeah it's like the minute because like if everything's good it's gary but mm -hmm. when i've done something that's not quite right and it needs correcting <laughs> it's son and i'll go oh what now oh no <laughs> my yeah. ass is about to get hammered. yeah <laughs> like like when when i like i i had that same exact thing when i screwed up on the base when because i went you, they would say my name. They would either call me Jay or like oh, yeah. other some other nickname that I got over there, just hanging out over there with my uncle. I knew when I when I heard the word son from behind me, mm -hmm. I knew I was in some shit. Right. I was like, mm -hmm. son, what do you do right now? I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I had a female lieutenant, <laughs> Lieutenant Bose. She was my oh, XO, <laughs> and she would do that shit to me. I mean, the minute she would mm. yell. Yeah, either son or Kissel. Uh, yeah. My my spine and my ass would just tighten up. I'm like, oh, what now? <laughs> <Boy. laughs> but every now and then I thought they were talking to me because there were the other guys there that I would go hang out with them. And they're like, I was like, everybody would clinch when my uncle would yell that out. Like, just <laughs> we're like, okay, did you do that? Did you do that? And I was like, I know I I didn't fuck around right now, right? Now. I was like, and then, and then, and hey, I was Pop. like yeah. Hey. <laughs> like, so. so let's get on to another topic. Yeah, let's get back to Star Trek. Bored the <laughs> shit yes. out of freaking military crap. Sorry. So, um, <laughs> well, so what do you guys all think of this this situation that was trending on Twitter the other day about this alleged J.J. Abrams' Star Wars cut. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> oh, Who cares? Go? 
yeah, who cares, right? Right. Mm -hmm. the, the, I doubt there know, is even one. I, I, I really is. believe. I really believe Anna. You know, when I watched her video about uh -huh, this whole thing, yeah. I really think they're trying to go on the uh, <laughs> uh, the curtails of I mean, uh, the Snyder Cut. I, I mean, what, what's it going to be? Uh, you know, uh, fifteen pounds of shit in a five pound bag instead of ten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, you know, mm. what? I. I, I yeah, I, I would. Here's my thing: is there, and here's this thing to keep bringing up the Lucas cut too. So, yeah, I'm just like, oh, well, so uh, they're gonna get, they're yeah. gonna bring the JJ cut and the Lucas cut out, like, yeah, you know. L L Lucas I cut doubt they, they got they put one. his name on it. Yeah, I yeah, doubt he, he got he, one. He wanted to be nowhere near the sequel trilogy. Yeah, that's what. That's the reason why I have a hard time believing there's a Lucas cut. Because he yeah, did not want to be on that set. I doubt it. If you yeah. saw that thing he did like two, three weeks ago where that student asked him about. Yeah. The, and he said, I lost control of it when I sold it. Yeah. I mean, he basically mm -hmm. said right there, I want nothing to do with anything yeah. they've done. Mm -hmm. Dude, uh, that is. <laughs> yeah, but then the set of it. And so, yeah. yeah, but them scrubbing his freaking that, right. uh, that, throwing that his, stream. Throwing his oh. outline in the trash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I mean, yeah. the only reason you see him, the only reason you see pictures of of him on the set of uh, the Mandalorian is because of uh, you know F and F, you know. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, because like, they're and, fans. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know how dare and they? Like, when like when he was actually holding Baby Yoda, like he was holding his grandchild there, you know. Right. Yeah. So. That, I, I gotta say, I, I, I gotta say that was one of the cutest pictures because George was holding him with such care. Like I was just mm -hmm. like, that was that was kind of cool. That that, that made didn't my it, geek, uh, that made my geek heart swell up. Kind of like you know, you know, George mm -hmm. Lucas have a and on that day, your geek wife? heart grew three sizes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Am I mistaken, yeah. or did George have a, a child with his current wife? He has oh, yeah. four yeah. kids right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's four okay. children. Uh, Amanda, Jet, uh, Katie. With the current wife? And Everett. E yeah, Everest. yeah. Everett, Everett or Everest? I can't remember. With the Let's current see. wife. Wait, yeah. actually, uh, I think one, one with the current one Everest. with the current wife. Yeah, Everest oh, okay, is gotcha. her wife. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And she's CEO of um what is it? Um I own GeorgeLucas.com. <laughs> no, no, no. She's she's like uh, like VP of like Starbucks or I can't remember. Uh, what? One of those. Yeah. She's yeah, she's big, big. VP yeah, of yeah. Starbucks? I never heard I that. So. Let me see. I thought uh, she was in marketing. Or, I'm looking, I'm looking. Lucas Wife, uh, John. For, for, for a minute, Gary, I thought, Melanie you, were Hobson. Say, I thought you were gonna say, Um, I, I got me a white Jewish man. Oh, she's a chairwoman for Starbucks, <laughs> that's what it was. I'm sorry, okay, but she okay, was also, uh, okay. yeah, uh, she's also a former chairwoman for DreamWorks. Oh, okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, George is uh, behind the scenes, dude. Mm -hmm. Starbucks is so freaking. And she's yeah, gorgeous, by the way. Yeah, she is. So for her to have a little yeah. kid, uh, you know, she's right? 52? Yeah, wow. No shit. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I just looked. Their one. son is Everest that they had. Yeah, Everest. Everest. Yeah. Uh, uh, mm. it I wasn't daughter. sure if it's Everest or Everett. Yeah, she's What daughter. about his daughter? They, say that, that's, yeah. they said that's the name of their daughter. Uh-huh, yeah. It's she's Everest. She's gorgeous, though. She's a good-looking woman. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty-two. She don't look fifty-two, man. She looks yeah. like she's in her thirties. What, what? What's up? With uh, I wouldn't go that young. With fifty-two. Yeah. I don't know. She's she's holding pretty good. Say, yeah. I'd say forty. Maybe. Yeah. 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 By surrogate. Oh, she had a by surrogate. Six the same. Oh. Oh. Yeah, hey, whatever works. Weird. They got the money, of course. So. Yeah. Shit. Monkey embryos. Oh my god. No, no, I, I no, 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 no don't no, go no. there. You'll really kill the screen. Uh, right? <laughs> 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 but you know what? JJ mm. Abrams, dude, there are no words that I could say on this panel how I ultimately feel about that piece of shit douchebag. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, I, I agree. To be honest. You know? Yeah, JJ is just, dude, you know, he and his dude. team. 
his company are just fucking locust and they Dude, go yeah. and consume and consume uh -huh. and just shit all over properties to, to make I whatever money they it. can make off of it. They destroy the properties to where they don't mm -hmm. make money anymore. Yeah. And then they move on to the next one. And now, right now, he's doing DC. Dude, yeah, and, dude. and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm. You I think that's like, really okay. happening, Jerry? Gary? What? Do you really think that's happening? Oh, that he's going to shit all over DC too? Well, no, yeah. no, no. You do because there's something going on and said this week between Warner Brothers and AT and T. Well, like I said, uh, Keith and I talk about this ad nauseum. Yeah. yeah. That there, <laughs> the the structure of Warner mm -hmm. and AT and T is AT and T is at the top. Yeah. Uh, right below them is the CEO of Warner Media, who mm -hmm. oversees HBO Max as well as Warner Media, run by Ann Sarnoff, who's a, a piece of shit. Yeah, she is uh, the she's head of Warner of Brothers. Mm -hmm. She's the head of Warner Brothers, yep. and answers to the other two. And uh, she and Warner Brothers which includes DC, have no control over HBO Max. HBO Max belongs directly to AT&T and the CEO of uh, WarnerMedia. And he only answers directly to AT&T. And uh, so it's, it's, that's why when you hear things happening at HBO, mm -hmm. trust in that. Uh, what's okay. going on at yeah. Warner Brothers, on the other hand, is a fucking mess. Because yeah. they don't know what they're doing, they're losing money over hand over fist. Oh God! Uh, yeah. Their prayers are all all in any one property being mildly successful, so they can keep their jobs. Right. Yep. While the other guys at HBO Max and at the senior level of Warner Media to AT and T, they're all happy. They're happy with what happened with Justice League. They were very mm -hmm. pleased with it. Uh, it did what they expected. Uh, and people are like, well, Godzilla kicked its ass. And it's like, Godzilla is a new movie. Mm -hmm. So what the fuck? Yeah. Who it's cares? Also Who cares? two hours long, not four hours. In four yeah. hours. Yeah. They God, got the viewership terrible. that they wanted from Justice League to prove yeah. that what they want to do will work. And so AT&T yeah. is going to be they the one money. that will push for the, the uh, uh, Zack Snyder uh, cinematic universe on HBO. But That's right where we'll here. get but here's the yeah. thing on this one, and Gary even said this. We'll get it, but it's not going to be what we want. You know? Yeah, but Snyder's Well, that's, that's – Gary's kind of half right on that. Um, you're not going to get all you want, but you're going to get some of what you want. Yeah. And Because um, the budgets are going to be tighter on yeah, anything on HBO. Well, that's got to be. That's just a simple it's fact. It's got to be. But it will be human – stories yeah you'll get that with some right. action in it yep. that's really what we crave uh mm -hmm. now warner's gonna probably deliver on a little bit too but uh i'm not looking forward to one fucking thing that jj's overseeing his oh, oh hell no dude. dude uh it looks like garbage woke garbage crap uh yep. you know forced diversity is not diversity no it's mm. not no <clears throat> no it's not and the I people think still think this shit blows yeah. my mind. I, what I, I don't get is how the hell they can give him a half a billion dollars to lose money. And that's what they're going to do. They're not, yeah. you know, he, since Mission Impossible, um, he has mostly done garbage. Uh, yeah. I don't like, I don't care what anybody says. Uh, I enjoyed Star Trek 2009, but I did the not like it. One. I did first not like one. it. I, yeah, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it. it. I agree it's with the you, cast Gary. that sold that yes. movie. Yes. Yes. I like the cast. Yes. Specifically, yep. Carl Urban. Because I walked into that saying, there's no way they can get this right because they'll I, never get DeForest Kelly. Yeah. DeForest Kelly was one of a kind. Dr. McCoy will never uh, be duplicated. And I said, holy shit. They oh, did yeah. it. They yeah, did he, it. He did a, do, he <laughs> did a good uh, McCoy. Yeah. Yeah. I love He's, Chris Pine and I yep. love freaking Carl Urban. Yep. And Those Carl two Urban, so. told Zachary is not bad. Uh, yeah, and Zachary Zoe Saldana sucked. is yeah. is interesting. Yeah. Uh, yes, I did not like not that version of yeah. um, Uhura. Uhura. I don't like Spock um, either. He's uh -oh. too, way too emotional. It Spock. was yeah. Yeah. It, there were yeah. problems. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I want to address Willie Woodward's uh, 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 comment uh, 
well, wait, didn't Snyder in the interview with Yahoo close the door on his involvement with DC? No, he didn't. He's not going to close the door. He'd be an idiot to close the door. Mm-hmm. What he's closing people. the door on is Warner Brothers. Yeah. He will not work directly for Warner Brothers. His crazy. deal would be directly with AT&T and that's Warner Media. Yeah. Yep, yep. And, yep. and yep. period, that's all that would happen. I, I, um, I just I just I just want a, a a proper Superman story with Henry Cavill so he can like actually yeah. show Well with he Zack can Snyder do, involved you know? it's more difficult because hey. Zack doesn't understand Superman. Um, I know he doesn't and that's what the very Nobody frustrating does. thing it is. Richard you know? Donner does. Yeah. Richard Donner, Donner understood does. him. And okay, Richard Donner, Donner said something that everyone that works on Superman needs to understand to make it work. That the only way to depict Superman and have it work correctly is he has to be a Boy Scout. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. If you depict him as torn or or having difficulty, you begin to lose the idea of who he is. That's why it's important why why Jonathan Kent was such a terrible character in um uh man yep, of steel yep, yep. because yeah. he's the one who established that with with his son with clark yep. that boy scout uh do the right thing always do the right thing no matter the cost yeah they totally destroyed it that's what makes superman <sighs> know it's so good it's, yep. they've got the clark kent part that down. dude i'm telling you what, i love okay. superman and lois so do i my video is way oh, over that I, I really hope they i really hope they don't screw up superman and lois when me it comes either. back uh, i'm they're, just they're, like they're i'm i'm things. enjoying that show so far yeah oh, me God. too <laughs> me too man and so it's, it's not so much the superman it's his clark his clark is yeah spot on. I his love clark, clark is clark the, yeah 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 and then this dynamic people Huh? Go ahead. I'm one of those people that like, you know, I like the grittier Superman. Uh, I'm going to uh, share um, something, by the way, real quick here. Okay. This is important. Uh, I have absolute faith in Mikey Sutton. I know the man personally. Uh, we are close friends. We do a, Keith and I do a lot of work with him. And uh, mm. we're the reason why he's doing shows now. Uh, getting on doing live because he had suffered a stroke a few years back and he's been recovering and he was he was very uncomfortable and we're like dude fuck it people are gonna love you man Mm -hmm. and we love him and this is the most recent one AT&T wants Ben Affleck Batman series for HBO Max now before he does these articles and this guy is networked into Hollywood. He worked in Hollywood for uh, decades. He worked for some of the top magazines, including Cine Fantastique magazine, which mm-hmm. I read his articles back in the day. Uh, this guy is, is very awesome, well so. networked. He And he will, when he delivers something, he is yet to be proven wrong on any of his scoops. And AT&T wants Ben Affleck like Batman series for HBO Max. They absolutely do. We predicted That's that awesome. they would. And yeah, that he's like proving what we were yeah. saying. Keith and I have been predicting like this. It. Uh, that this is what fans are going to be tied to. Warner doesn't want it. They're fighting this. And they're fighting Why? the people that write their checks. Because Ann Sarnoff is the Warner Brothers Kathleen Kennedy. She's yes, the she is. absolutely yeah. is. Yeah. And, uh, and i got to be honest with you. If Hamada had had a better team... None of this would have been happening. But he's not very good at choosing the people to put in charge. He's terrible at it. Well, part of it is, too. I don't think he understands, then, much like most of these companies, the IP that he's dealing with. Well, yeah. he had a really good idea. Keith and I have talked about this. But he brought in the wrong people to bring it about, which was um, to not follow the model done by Marvel, but instead to do a bunch of different um, movies using each one of the DC IPs. Okay, from Batman, Superman, they can't and not to create the, the universe. Yeah, you can't do that. It's just yeah, because first of all, Kevin Feige is a unicorn. Exactly. Uh, oh yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah. The closest, the closest thing yeah. that we'll ever find to yeah. Kevin Feige is John Favreau. Jan, yep. John Favreau is another mystical creature. I don't know which one yet. Yeah. But um, he, because he's a serious fucking nerd, and I've known this for 20 years because yeah. i've been a fan of his since yeah. 90s 96 right. i became a fan of his and uh i knew all sorts of things about this guy early early on and uh i'm like when i heard he was going to do the first real marvel studio movie iron man i'm like fuck yeah 
That's yeah. the way to do it. Get someone like him. And mm. Feige hired him because he knew he was a true fucking nerd like himself. Right. And Feige, by the way, is not a nice guy. Anybody who thinks he's a nice guy doesn't understand how Hollywood operates. <laughs> yeah, he, he's not he, a nice guy. <laughs> he is He is not a nice guy. But he, he is um, a really good nerd. And even though he's a little woke, I like the way he thinks. I, I do. Mm -hmm. And I like his ideas. Uh, some of his ideas get a little wackadoodle, but I think that mm -hmm. some of his ideas come out as like feet dipping in the water to check to see before jumping in. And he's seeing some of the backlash on some of his ideas. Mm. You know, where the um, hell did the freaking where did the Patterson Batman come from then? And who thought that was a good idea? Ah, yeah, that's that, uh, that is Jeff Johns, uh, Walter Hamada, but worse upon worse, Toby Emmerich, who is an absolute oxygen thief. Um, if <laughs> he was ejected <laughs> from this tired. planet, it's yeah, true what if he, he says. if he was ejected yeah. from this planet into space, uh -huh. everything would be better. War would go away. <laughs> <laughs> there would be no conflict. Yeah, Toby Emmerich. I don't like that guy. Fuck that guy. Um, or as we say on Pop Culture Minefield, I hope he chokes on a bag of dicks. <laughs> don't forget, Jerry, uh, Gary, a used bag of dicks. A used bag of dicks. <laughs> you guys need to make that a shirt if you guys haven't made it. Oh, it's, it's an emoji already. Uh, for our, uh, cause we, we've launched our, our monetization, but we're about to launch our... Um, uh, joining thing, and one of the emojis is my my personal bag of used dicks. <laughs> oh, I love that. Bag. That's awesome. That's and, nasty. And Wait, of course, you know uh, one of Six's yeah. favorites was um, uh, I got a whole pocket full of go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and of oh, course, we you. we did the funny little lettering, so you, it doesn't say fuck. It says F ampersand. At symbol K. Because <laughs> yeah. I want to hey, make it PG. <laughs> you know what I and I and I said this and I said this about a while back and I know a few other people. What if they do and I and I said this and this would be a pure money maker right here. You put Cavill in there. You have him do Superman yeah. how he's supposed to. You have because mm -hmm. Superman's the light. You have Ben do bats. Bats is the dark, and you go world's finest. And well, that was that you know um, that him. was one of the things that was on the agenda for Zach. Yeah, uh, but he was. I don't think it was World's Finest. I think he was going to do Justice Society or something. Yeah, but it was he was going to play on that light versus dark okay. thing, uh, but make yeah. them friends. He wanted them to be friends. Yeah, um, hey, uh, Gary, hang on real quick. Yeah. Uh, Dutch has got to go, and we're yeah. going to bring in uh, Monkey King. And stuff because yeah, he uh, is dying hey, to Dutch. talk about DC. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll see you on Twitter. Okay. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I'm, I'm going on oh, and, uh, four hours of you... sleep. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that much? I appreciate yeah. you coming in, Dutch. It, you uh, you hit the all yeah, the buttons for Yeah, you're such a joy. Us. We need to have you on our so, show yeah. too. Yeah, well, I don't. Yeah, yeah I, she I hits the diversity all. button. Yeah, and uh, yeah, because it, it it really yeah, is know? a sausage party with yeah. us nerds most of the time. It's yeah, like, we, we can hold our own though. Gary. You talk about a bag yeah. of dicks. I'm like, uh. <laughs> we we got <laughs> yelled at that we didn't have women either. So we're like, if you're welcome on our channel anytime too, Dutch. So okay, okay, well, okay. yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, same with us too. We, yeah. Keith and I would love to have you on. Yeah, yeah. sure, so, sure. Yeah, definitely. Not this so, Keith, Black Keith. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, Shell, can I ask I'm you to leave you. so that I could bring in, um, <laughs> so I can bring in uh, Fernan? Hey, well, it's your show, dude. <laughs> I'd really appreciate right. it. He's, I'll he's, see you uh, guys later, and thank you, Chad. Going nuts here. Let me see Good if night, he comes Kitty. in here. Night. Let me see night. Her. Are you leaving too, Shell? I mean, I'm I'll, I'm gonna hang out in the back so I can still listen. But okay, yeah. all right, cool. I really appreciate it, Shell. As a, so I can bring in Monkey here. I got to get more on the stream. So, hey, uh, that's the reason why we had to pay for a year of StreamYard. Yeah, yeah. I got gotcha, you. Gotcha. With six is just too much. But yeah, we had to work up to it. Like, yeah, so. that $25 a month is getting annoying. But now that we've monetized, right yeah. now, I think we have enough to pay for a year 
of yeah the we we knocked out a whole year so we didn't have to pay for it monthly right. so we were lucky so mm. uh, so i got you i got you so, so here's my uh question though on with the uh um, oh the you're the, in big with, trouble gary now okay so because uh, cause my, my, the impression I got when I was reading, reading like the, the article, like I was saying in the, um, live stream chat with like on Yahoo was that the, oh, I'm Willie Woodward. <laughs> you looked all confused. I'm like, I'm Willie Woodward. This is just an alt account. <laughs> it's like, didn't mean to freak you out there. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, anyway, but it's like, uh, it's like, yeah, it's like the impression I got is that, um, Snyder was in, uh, was like kind of tossed between working some more with HBO Max and working with, with an exclusive Netflix deal. And I thought the whole reason is um, like with, with when he was doing that thing with the Army of the Dead was just kind of like, yeah, you know what? I, I ain't doing I ain't doing Warner Brothers no more. Uh, and I thought that was the whole like I thought that was this whole thing. So I thought like Snyderverse with Zack Snyder in it is no more. But they'll work with like the that I, I thought that's why they were pushing. uh Batfleck. Well, what it ends up happening is these rumors get conflated, and yeah, um, they and they they kind of meld together in a way they shouldn't, uh, because you have to. And and I got to tell you, I literally have a mental wall between what's going on with Warner and what's going on with HBO Max. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, because they're completely different. Um, what DC Marvel, I mean, what DC uh, Warner want to do almost doesn't even matter to me anymore. Uh, what I'm watching is what AT and T AT and T and and Warner Media CEO is doing with yeah. HBO Max because that's the one that's going to make us the happiest. Mm -hmm. True. Um, as true fans, true comic fans, that's the one that's going to ha make us happiest if they get it to work. Right. Well, so you know, going back with like uh, earlier with what you were saying with. Um with jj abrams and stuff is because uh you were because you were saying is that that was a more of a warner brothers thing not an at at and t thing and so i'm wondering is, is like because uh from what i understand like from with midnight's edge is like it's like to hollywood jj is pretty much a golden boy still because it's like his only real like um uh, dark spot on his career was um the star wars the third star wars movie um uh, no, and Star Trek too. No, Star, Star Trek, Trek is a huge dark, huge spot dark on his, spot on him. Yeah. Well, um, I, I understand. I understand killed, in the fan yeah. community, but I'm no, saying no, like no. I'm talking program. business wise. Business, yeah, business. Um, yeah. They lost billions of dollars in mm -hmm. Star Trek as well in merchandising and licensing. Yep. Okay. Um, it, it got so bad that the toy company said, "Fuck you." Okay. Uh huh. Um, they they didn't want to deal with them anymore, so that caused a rift there with whoever was really in charge. Because it gets really confusing as to who was in charge once Les Mouves and right, um, uh, Redstone split like up that? Star Trek, uh, mm -hmm. and when they split it up in two thousand and five at the end of Enterprise, it became a fucking mess. Right. Because that that's where you got this whole twenty five percent thing. And um, when you hear things from from those assholes saying, "Oh well, um, you know this is," uh, they don't want to use the word canon. Oh, that's prime universe. Right. Prime that, universe that... is a fake word. It it doesn't mean yeah. anything. Right. It, it's still part of the JJ verse. It right. is not canon. Uh, canon is canon, and the way you know canon uh, is in the Star Trek. They paid for it. They had to pay that 25% for it. Right. Because mm -hmm. they did the and license. They won't do that. So nothing in the current Star Trek universe since 2009 is canon. Not one right. bit of it. Right. No. Nope. Um, but uh, so, okay. But because um, I, I was under the impression it's like, yeah, like, yeah, I know their toy sales for Star Trek were tanking. And I know Star Wars, were their, their merchandise sales were tanking. But I thought. To Hollywood's eyes, it, it's like he seemed to be sort of a golden boy, except for. Um, well, that's because people do they do, they give this good hoopla for him, uh -huh. and they're hoping. And this is what JJ always hopes is that the hoopla gets to his future employer before right. all the negative shit does. Mm. But they do eventually get the negative shit, yeah. and when that does come in. Then they're like, oh, man, oh, right. we backed the wrong horse. 
And you can already see that with uh, DC Warner because there's been a lot of backing off on things. And uh, they're yeah, doing a lot more time. testing. They're doing a mm-hmm. lot of testing with stuff. Okay. And Hamada knows that if they don't get a win with what JJ's planning to do, his job is done. They can yeah, finally right. fire him. Gone. I why would they even? Late why school. would they get behind him? He knows well, he's here's a the dead thing, horse. Here's the thing: it was all the propaganda that they put out there to make him yeah. look like a golden boy. Yep. And so, yeah. but people on the inside, like Gary, me, you know, right, uh, right. you know, you know, he, every Tom, a bunch Keith. of us that actually know, we're like, no, he's not. He he's he's left a black, you know, sp- he's he's done the scorched earth. He comes in. Acts like he's gonna do something. No, he's yeah. like, "Oh, I'm not happy." It scorches everything to where it's oh, yeah. not just it's done for. And you're, then he goes on to the next. You're it. right. You're so right. Already, but I thought it was kind of you know, too late to cancel him out. And yeah. I and I thought they were kind of having like I, I, I thought the whole like the bad press with the black Superman was um yeah was that they was kind of they were having buyer's remorse. But I thought and I but I thought his kind of like his job was more or less. Right, kind of solidified for at least like two. Yeah, pictures. he's he's creating um, know, a man. pocket of things for DC. He's mm-hmm. in his own little pocket, and it, the stuff he's doing is uh, almost like um, uh, what is that in DC? I forget what it's called. Elseworld Multiverse. stuff. Uh, yeah. Well, Elseworld. More Elseworlds. Elseworlds. Yeah. yeah. Elseworlds. Um, and uh, and they're going to see a failure in a way because when you get overly political you you kill your sales right. um 50% of your audience is going to be disinterested in watching anything you have you want to create things that 100% of your audience is interested in seeing not 50 right. and when yeah. they start getting political like they do on CW with Greg Berlanti mm-hmm. uh JJ's showing signs that he wants to use the uh superman based on uh Barack Obama yeah and it's like oh, God. um that's a and dead it's like somebody says well. well you know that's yeah. a legitimate comic i said it's a legitimate comic that tanked yeah it's it didn't sell tanked. nobody bought no, it, it nobody wanted it yeah um so yeah it's it's a legitimate comic but it's also a legitimate comic that tanked but we we'll, we don't want to bring that up, uh, and I always say, look, man, leave personal politics out. Uh, your best comic book writers are guys that you can fucking read and not know what their po- political persuasion is. Yeah, uh, that people hate Chuck Dixon, and I'm close friends with that guy. And I'm here to tell you right now, I've read almost everything he's written, and I cannot tell what his politics are. I have no idea. That's because he's a good writer. Yeah, I, I I used to uh, around. That's actually around the time when I used to when I stopped reading um, a lot of the mainstream comics was around when Chuck Dixon came out. He was really good. He's yeah, the best. The kept yeah, on. the best team up I've seen since Denny O'Neill and, and uh, uh, Neil Adams was Chuck Dixon and Graham Nolan. And I'm so fucking honored to have those two as close oh, friends. You know, because my first comic book job uh, was working with Chuck Dixon. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm working with Chuck Dixon, and I got to be friends with him. And inevitably, if you're friends with Chuck Dixon, you become friends with Graham. It's just, it's yeah. a law. It just yeah. happens. You have no oh, oh. choice. Yeah, Graham and them. Graham's awesome too because I've got oh, yeah. to talk to him a few times. He's just, I kind of fanboyed out when I met him when I talked to him <laughs> the first time about Bane. I was like, oh my god, he's done it to Bane. <laughs> he's like, breathe. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> my god. <laughs> I'm Do so fam- familiar with people when I meet yeah. them. When I met Graham the first time, I, I called him Gray, and he liked it. <laughs> yeah. I don't call him Graham. I call him Gray. What's up, you Gray? You know who I fanboyed on? I, I was in a in a, I was in a stream with a Comics Division. I fanboyed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I was on a stream with comics last night and I was oh, just no. like, hey, hey, what? comics, what's up? And I was yeah. just like, he's like, what's up, dude? <laughs> oh, we, that, you know, yeah. but I, 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 I did the well, first yeah. time I had Robert on art, I mm-hmm. fanboyed out. Like, dude, and then I would the second love time, to talk to Robert. Oh, and then God. the second time we had him on the next week, I was like, hey, Robert, what's up, brother? Like, he's like, you got it all out of your system last week, didn't yeah. you? He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, sometimes you got to work that out. It's like a knot in your leg. Because, um, yeah. like, when we had um, – Keith has done it. Keith has yeah. done it. 
He fanboyed yeah. out, and I'm like, dude. And I'll make fun of him when he does it. Uh, not this Keith. Now, yeah. now, White no, Keith Nate. is actually now a part of White uh, Keith? PCM's. Uh, yeah, white white Keith. Keith. We got a White Keith yes. and a Black Keith, huh? Yes, yeah, White, white Keith. Keith and Black Keith. <laughs> and um, uh, <laughs> it's going to be fun because White Keith is joining our, our panel. Yeah. And he's going to get to join in a lot of our interviews. And, and nice. our goal is to get Chuck Dixon and Graham on at the same time. I'm trying oh, to get it. Damn. I'm trying to get it measured out That'd be cool. uh, to get them both That'd on. That'd be awesome. It, it's and, funny. Yeah, I've only it's cool. avoid once. So, I work with celebrities and athletes all the time. I'm in production. I've only, yeah, the oh, only yeah, person I fan, I fanboyed for Denny O'Neill. That was the only one. I went to his house. Oh, that extremely. I I've met that, Denny. Dude. And yeah. my thing is, is, um, I've been working with celebrities for so long, for 30 years, so I've like, been doing whatever. interviews. Um, and yeah. one of them asked me, because uh, I got him to open up during an interview, uh, and this is Jeremy Roberts. The only thing you might remember him from was he was the very first uh, commercial where he's a knight and he lifts his helmet up and says, what's in your wallet? Oh, that guy, oh, yeah. That's yeah, Jeremy yeah. Roberts. I've been friends with him for years. God bless him. Um, when I first had a conversation with him for a movie he was in, um, I got him to open up about Vietnam. And oh. he's like, I've, he's like, after the interview was done, he goes, no one's ever got me to open up. How do you do that? And I said, well, I worked in the medical field for how years. How much did you stroke him, Jerry? No, Jerry. this is how I do it. This is how I do it. I, and he laughed when I told him what, how I do it. Uh, I mind. said, I was a paramedic and as a oh, paramedic, yeah. you're trained to deal with people with mental disorders and uh, how to get them to open up and talk to you. And what you do is you familiarize yourself with them by talking about yourself and uh, open up about something personal about yourself. And I use the same techniques when I do interviews. And, um, and I got him to fucking open up about Vietnam. And, and I told him, I said, basically, I was trained to talk to people who are mentally ill and Hollywood actors are, are basically, in my opinion, mentally ill. <laughs> Yeah, hey, they yeah. Have to be. yeah, I agree with so, that one on yeah. that one. So, Jerry, I always wonder, like, who, when when you talk to um when you talk to uh, uh Chuck Dixon and and uh, Gr and Graham Nolan, who came up with the visual design for Bane? Because, like, I remember as a kid when Bane first came out, it's like that shit shouldn't. work. I was looking at like that shit shouldn't. That was work. <laughs> the whole idea of who Bane was uh, came from Chuck, uh, okay. but. As far as the look goes, that's 100% uh, Graham Nolan. Um, okay. Graham Nolan, uh, had I think he had been down to Mexico and loves luchadoras and yeah. had this idea, and it worked perfectly. It melded perfectly with what Chuck was wanting to do. And, but there is little gray areas. There are little gray areas. But that's how those two work together is one is the visual, the other one is the idea. Right, right. And, um, and, and they tend to not cross too much but that they, they they have and the fact is uh graham is really a good writer himself mm. and that helps with his relationship with chuck <laughs> i'm sorry well, i was hey. reading one of the comments it's like that's why i tell jerry all my deepest secret <laughs> we, there are conversations i've had with six that i, I won't have with anybody but maybe my wife uh, yeah. well six is awesome oh we, we we joke around in the chat all the time yeah, and so, <laughs> she is absolutely one of my favorite uh, uh, people yeah. to have in the chat. Oh, six is, I thought yeah. Six was a dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought it was no, a dude, one of my favorite people. I am so sorry. <laughs> yeah, Six is one of my favorite people, too, because they always show up in our streams. Yeah. And, like, yeah. when we do I've our seen, streams, there's like over there. I've so, seen her in other streams yeah. that I watch, yeah. too, as well. Are, are you assuming genders again? Yes, oh, we are. Yeah. We're assuming, yeah. yes. <laughs> I am not. I actually I did assume it was a guy. Yeah, and then she corrected me, and I went, eh, "All right." <laughs> well, I, from the way they were talking the first time I started talking, I was like, "That's a woman right there." Yeah, and then I was like, and then I said it. I said it on the stream. I was like, "I'm not trying to see your gender." She's like, "You were right." <laughs> so That's funny because like, okay, cool. we were talking about the military stuff, and I said, yeah. "Oh, we need to end this military crap." She called yeah. me out on it. I'm like, "Honey, I work for the DOD." Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, I was just like, <laughs> well, we do. We refer to it as crap anyway in, in the military. It's like, you know, uh, we yeah. refer to the, one of the things we say is uh, a soldier's not a soldier unless he's doing soldier shit. the monkey king. Yeah. yeah. 
Gotcha. Monkey, yeah. monkey, monkey. <laughs> yeah, well. uh, two songs pop into my head. Uh, the one by George Michael mm -hmm. and then Shock the Monkey yeah. by Peter Gabriel. I love that name, dude. I just love it. Monkey King. Hey. <laughs> the really the Monkey King. It's it's sadly it's because I'm hairy as fuck. <laughs> it's a sad oh part. Oh my and it's just, god, like, dude. Like a chimpanzee. You don't have I'm to tell like, anybody like, that. Ronnie. No, they, it's, it's, it's from here. I mean, come no, on. No, no. It's a Wookie. <laughs> it's a Wookie. Ooh. Yeah, yeah Wookie. Yeah, yeah Wookie was my uh, mother. I used to play. I'm lucky that Chewy, if I wear a V neck, you can barely see my chest hair. Um, yeah. My brother Michael, uh, who's you know, because all my siblings, but I are Jewish. Uh, I'm the only. I I because I had a different dad. I had an Irish Roman Catholic dad, mm -hmm. and I've got six brothers and sisters who are Jewish. And all the guys are fucking apes, man. They're all covered with fucking fur. Yeah. <laughs> like Robin Williams fur. Well, yeah, he that, had oh, like that's exactly fur. me and my brother. Um so my my I have a um my I have like four, uh, three brothers and two of them they come from another dad, but one of them we, we come from the same dad and he is built like a fucking bear. He has always been hey, built like a Hey, your language. Bear. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm messing with you. <laughs> no fucking cussing on the stream. You no damn yeah, I've dropped, I've dropped several fuck bombs, so I think you're good, monkey. <laughs> no fucking cuss on this fucking stream. You yes, damn it. Right. He built like a bear. He, like, yeah, we have to the word he, bear. It's like that whole thing of like, looks like a duck, walks like a duck, acts like a duck. You could have swore to God he was a bear. And like me, I'm this like scrawny looking like monkey sucker. And it's like, but we're hair. We're like we make Robin Williams look like he's look like oh, he um I'm trying yeah. to give it, look bald like he was uh, yeah yeah there you go <laughs> hi, hi my name my name is Willie uh, if oh. I take my shirt off will you braid the hair on my back <laughs> dude I will <laughs> like, you know what oh don't tempt me man don't tempt me I, will. I, I, I okay dude Willie, you can uh, braid that kind of shit request, I bet you but, you can uh, braid that shit that's what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> you can you'll be like oh, little tiny dude. cornrows but yeah you can. Mm. <laughs> Luckily, yeah. my wife has things for animals, so it's like I'm good. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of weird, but okay. Take off your shirt. I already did. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, there goes that's the a hairy there. ninja turtle there over there. The <laughs> there goes dinner. There goes the whole stream. It's you, you, yeah, oh, YouTube's about to fucking uh, shut us down. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got nudity. I think they'll think, I think, I think they'll think we're one of those, like, Oh, my God. Videos. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. Uh, hey, go like this. Go like a ring a ting. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> You know he reminds me of he he reminds oh me from Clive God. from Any Which Way But Loose. Yeah, there you go. Like, right there. Every which way but loose. Oh, yeah. Dude, I gotta I gotta keep right. some self respect. Oh, right there. Wow. You know, just I just to put this in all. there. Uh, just to put this out there, um, <laughs> Fat Steven Seagal. Oh God. And I were having a private chat the other day, <laughs> yeah. and I wasn't feeling well. I just got my second shot. From, for the uh -oh. vaccine, yeah, I was sick as a dog, and I was just like, "Hey, man, yeah, let's let's bring this around tomorrow." And he's like, "Okay, man, all right, I'll see you later." And I, I was wasn't wearing my glasses, so I went to cr <laughs> click leave Six. studio, but instead I hit oh, uh, turn on camera. Oh my! And God. I'm sitting there like uh -oh. you were just now, mm -hmm. and but I looked like Bigfoot because I was like right here, and I went. No. <laughs> and six. Oh my god. And Fat Steven says, hilarious. What no, the no, living no. fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah. I can see like, that you should have said to Steven, I'm getting ready for a date you promised me, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, I, I ended up just saying, Gotcha. And then I like left. <laughs> I was like <laughs> he, Steven said six. some funny shit the other day and he oh said like god, some funny dude. and I and and I was like, well, you got to buy me a dinner and a movie before you can do that, Steven. And he's like, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I love Six's response. Like, don't be such a pussy. I'm like. <laughs> well, I know he's, I know he's not watching right now. But um, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I love are, Steven. No, not Steven. Uh, <laughs> Iron Cast. Yeti Cast. Yeti Cast. Oh, yeah. Yeti's oh, yeah. hilarious. 
and Stephen yeah. and I are planning a uh, uh, a party oh for God. him, and it's it's going to be called Who? "Shitting on Yeti uh, Cat oh uh, Stream," and we're hey. going to invite all of his friends to do a roast of of nice. Yeti Cast live. And we've got we're planning videos, um, some of oh his God. embarrassing moments. That's funny. Um, hey. Gary, to, can to, you invite it, me on that one? Because I will roast the no, hell out of him on that one. No, <laughs> don't let Pop come on. No. Oh, well, you know, I'll, I'll, th I'll throw up some yeah, shit. Yeah, I'll be glad to invite you on. Um, it's just going to be um, <laughs> okay. people that, that love Yeti yeah, shitting I on him. Because I, I have really? one favorite thing I get to do in this life, and that's <laughs> shitting on Yeti. And I do it every episode that we do together. Uh, uh, I mock his his exuberance over being followed by gina carano i'm like <laughs> you know think, yeah, oh wow you got one a... celeb to pay attention to you i, I don't hey. think hey. 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 Me, i'd be like bye honey i'm gonna go try and make Ooh. out with gina carano oh, oh i love gina and gina like yeah. you know she likes a lot of my comments and stuff but... she never likes hey. any of mine dude. she, she likes like, my ah. comments but she hasn't followed me yet yeah. so. wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, i, I wait, don't wait, really wait, care wait, if they yeah. follow me i really don't I don't care. So. I'm just like whatever. This is. Uh, are you what, saying that Yeti is followed by Gina Carano? Yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. is this breaking I'm news? I'm joking. Yeah. Well, is Yeti. Breaking news? News? Was, How did you not hear about this? Because <laughs> that was all he talked about for really? a fucking I'm, week. Uh, I'm joking. Uh, he'd, 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 he'd get on. on yeah, he'd get on the air and he'd go. Oh my God, Gina's following me. I know, that's why. Because he's got that okay. cookie monster voice. Yeah. Ah. I thought that was like a bit, I thought that was a. Uh, it's like I when thought... Gary says, I used to own a comic book store. Like we. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. We all know that now. No. Um, well, like, I, I, like, I had, at first, when I first heard Yeti Cast, I actually thought that, like, that, that voice was like an act. And then I heard him, like, talk regularly on other streams. And it's like, holy shit, he actually does that. that That's his voice. He like, sounds, voice. he naturally sounds like a Muppet. Yeah. Well, he does. It's I like my like, voice, like too. My voice is terrible. And people are like, do you really sound like that? I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like go here and I'll use Jetty food. It's like, it's like <laughs> hey, my name is Jetty. What's up? I gotta, <laughs> like, I gotta imagine him if he like if he worked like at at like Starbucks or something like that. He's like, oh, hello, yeah. welcome to Starbucks. Can I take your order? It's like, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> I told I told Gina the other day. I tagged her. I go, oh, you could hurt me anytime, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh. She well, she liked my you? post the other day um, <laughs> uh, for her birthday, which I posted the image of her kicking, f uh, doing a push kick into Fassbender and sending him through a door. I said, best oh, nice. front push kick ever. I know. I mean, that I was a beautiful kick. I hate my voice kick. six. I hate dude, my voice she, six. If she no. ever went back into MMA, dude, she'd have to go up freaking weight. Dude, she, well, she would, she would she'd get back down to weight. But yeah, she yeah. she just likes being a woman right now. She's just being a woman. Yeah. yeah. She just happens yeah. to know how to fucking beat people dude, <laughs> in a fight. I tell you what. I, if I was she like, them. Oh if yeah. I was much younger. I would have oh. gotten into it myself. Hey, Normie, yeah. did you see what Shell said in private chat? Yeah. What? What now? Did what did what Shell, Shell say? Um, fucking Shell. I, I need. I need to. I need to make like a baby and head out. Oh, because um, you're you're uh, past your bedtime, right? Yeah, whatever yeah. you do, don't uh, don't go breach. I thought that uh, no. <laughs> uh, actually, while, while you pull, while, while you bullshitting, I actually was. My 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 mother uh, insists mm -hmm. on reminding me of that uh, every few years. Um, yeah, my mom tried to kill me when I was yeah. born. I was born with the cord around my neck. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, I damn. same here. They they had to unwrap me. Um, from oh my, my mom God. when I was born too, because they thought I was gonna, you know. So, yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna, when I'm I was born, on, they had to uh... slap my mom because the doctor just couldn't bother. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you have that child? <laughs> like, so, uh, is a dead woman. <laughs> oh, go that's your husband. Their show dub <laughs> channel here in a little bit. So, well, uh, we've been we're almost at two hours and twenty minutes. So yeah, I don't know how long yeah. you plan to go. I just wanted to cover freaking Falcon, and that was it, man. Anyway, so, yeah, I have well, not watched the latest episode. I, uh, I need to watch I it. I unfortunately watched it last night, so. <laughs> you know, aside from some of the woke shit in there, I'm enjoying one aspect of this show yeah. is the feel 
of the original I Spy mm-hmm. uh, with Bill Cosby and Robert it, Culp it's, because it's, I like the dynamic of their relationship. It reminds oh, I me a their, lot. I, I agree I with you on that. Their dynamic. Yeah. But I don't good night, like everybody. The show is just good night, show, show back. I See you, good night, show. show. See you later, buddy. Yeah. I really, uh, I like the show, but dude, it's like touch and go. It's like every other episode, and then there's multiple pieces that are just. It doesn't have a, a set direction at all. Hmm. Well, we only like have one more direction. week. Till it's over and then Loki. Starts. How many episodes are this? So, uh, it's six. the last one. Last like one this next week. Six. 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 Yeah. That is dumb. Okay. Right? And it's then, dumb. and then yeah. after that, Loki starts. So. Yeah. I'm looking I, forward to the. That. I, I am yeah, looking Loki, forward to Loki. I was looking forward to fucking Winter Soldier, and look what they fucking did to that. So. Hey, um, question though, because I remember no. uh, hearing rumor. Oh. Yes, sir. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, just- <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to be nice so I don't no, be like, oh, man, okay, never man. mind that Willie again. And then you're like. Well, we, we use um, the I- parliamentary rule over on uh, uh, our shows, Stephen, yeah. uh, Yeti, and I. Yeah. Uh, and that way we don't have too, too much talking over each other. Uh, yeah. But we have a big rule, one big rule. Do not intentionally interrupt somebody or yeah. make noises over them. Um, right. oh, sorry. And- it was the fuzz. No, you're fine. I well, because okay. I got after Stephen for it because he started making oh. snoring sound over Yeti one night. Even like, though I'm like, I'm no, yeah. it's on. unacceptable. Yeah. Uh, it's like and, don't do that. If you yeah. want to shit on Yeti, shit on him mm-hmm. before or after yeah. he says something. Right. Uh, don't interrupt. Okay. Him. And always mute if All you're right. gonna fuck. Yeah. So go yeah. into whatever you're gonna say about Falcon. Oh, uh, I was wondering because I heard no. Uh, <laughs> I'm no, sorry. No, that I'm was fine. a setup. That was it's a setup. Fine, I couldn't fine. help it. I, I apologize. I was, I was laughing the entire time. It's like um, so I heard no, rumors that they were. Oh. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <clears throat> so I heard rumors uh, that they were they were going to have Omega Red as like a as like a, in a cameo or something like that. And so I was wondering, is like from what you guys seen of the show, does that, um, does is that is that a thing or is that just bunk? It's hard to tell because every time we hear a rumor, it ends up being not what we were hoping for. Yeah, kind of like One Division. Oh yeah, you know, One Division oh. was the biggest cock tease ever. Yes. yes. Wait. God, yeah. Yeah. And so apparently, we learn afterward that Doctor Strange was supposed to be on there. Yeah, but after, they ended up after. saving it for the movie. Well, yeah, honestly though, I I would have like the Mephisto one was actually the one I was kind of a little bit bummed by because then that because like in the in the comics Agatha Harkness isn't really a villain. No, and, she's not. And um, and it, and it's like it felt kind of tacked on in like those last few episodes with the scar with the Wandavision, and so I was like really hoping that she was like kind of like. Um, like how in Batman Begins, uh, Scarecrow was like a minion of um, of Rachel Ghoul, and Rachel Ghoul was just the big bad. That's what I was hoping Mephisto was, and like, and when, uh, and it's just like that was just so disappointing. Uh, well, it didn't help that the showrunner doesn't know who Mephisto is. Yeah, yeah. This is what I don't understand. How did they put so many Mephisto egg, Easter eggs in there, and they didn't know who he was? <laughs> That's they the also thing had that, that death character too. Yeah, uh, they one. had they had uh, they had night they had nightmare they had Mephisto Easter eggs and they had um, they had um, um, Agatha Harkness. Yeah, yeah. They, but we already she knew was she was annoying. back from the first episode. You know, right? right. Yeah. we knew that. Like, so. Yeah, they should have just. It's like they shouldn't have made that as some special surprise thing because everybody who was paying attention mm. knew that that she was going to be Agatha yeah. Harkness, and so it just yeah, I knew it from like day in. one. Exactly. Yeah, me too. Me too. <clears throat> and the whole I'm Agnes. And the whole thing with like uh, Ralph Boner, Agnes. it's like I, I just was like I just was li- looking at that and I was like, you've got to be fucking kidding me! You had this perfect chance. Of inner, it's like you had a perfect chance of introducing how Wanda could be a threat in like in like the um, in the Spider Man movie and, and in the Doctor Strange movie. I mean, and the rabbit's like, name was Scratch. 
Yeah. Right? <laughs> no, I fucking heard it. <clears throat> so that I like I I saw like the first episode uh because of how burned I was with WandaVision, I saw that first episode of uh Falcon Winter Soldier. I'm like, nope, nope, when they did that bank scene, that was like, nope, nope, nope. Too much dumb. Nope, nope. Right. I, I really think these are like film outlines that were never developed into movies that they're kind of padding out and just yeah. content yeah. for Disney Plus. I, I didn't even think about that and until you mentioned it, Jake. Yeah, I really think so. Well, they don't see like, they Feige don't seem said, fully, fully. Uh, sorry. What's the word I'm looking for? Fully formed, fully. Um, it seems like an incomplete like, film reel. Incomplete, yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> well, didn't Feige say earlier on, um, it, during like the per, like filming of Wandavision, that this is basically it's like a six hour movie, so, you know? Correct. And so, <clears throat> it sounds like they're oh. basically just was taking like something that would have been a two hour movie and just stretching it for for. Three, three or four more hours. Whoa! Look at that <clears throat> announcement. Uh, yeah, they. Um, wow. I think you're exactly right, Willie. It's like they took a two-hour film treatment and they're just filling it up mm. with filler to yeah. add it out to six <clears throat> or ten episodes, or whatever. They yeah, can. and it's, it's just it's dumb. Like the the first three episodes of Wandavision could have been told in one. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, God, dude. Yeah. The first oh, two or four movie. episodes, I was just like, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> right. This started five. It was going nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It's, it they, was they, like they, goddamn filler shit. And this sitcom thing, dude, just drove me fucking nuts, dude. Well, I had fun because in, in with the sitcom stuff wait, because wait, you um, had fun? Oh, well, well, hear me out, hear me out, because I grew up watching those shows and mm -hmm. and like uh and my wife, she's yeah. um she didn't she didn't grow into like watching like those like 80s and 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 later right. sitcoms yeah. and so like for me it was kind of fun explaining to her the tropes and the references and stuff like that but outside of that it wasn't really that fun i was kind of waiting like i, I was i was like when they were showing the trailers when it's just a sitcom stuff i'm like and right. like what's right. the hook it's like right and everybody was telling me like oh no that is the hook and kind of scar right. the witch is the bad guy and it's like i, I don't and yeah right. but at the same time that was to me, that was effective because it was so different and so weird. I was kind of like, what the hell is this? Well, I had to go look, you know. Well, let me put it in this way, though, White Keith. It's like if you were given, uh, like, bland yogurt, right? And then all of a sudden, you were given some skanky-ass flavored yogurt. It's like, yeah, it'd be different, but it's not a good different. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it. I didn't like it. I'll be. I'll confess. No. I watched half mm -hmm. of it. No. I, I'm not. The, man, and like Loki just doesn't like Loki. I'm, I'm, lo I'm looking for. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm look. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Um, I'm looking forward to Loki too. But after Winter Soldier, I'm like, dude, I don't know what to really. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, just. I'm so disappointed in in Winter Soldier that I'm just like, I don't want to get invested in Loki so they can destroy uh, Hiddleston for me. Well, I'll be I honest, know? I wasn't looking forward to Loki because it's like yeah. it, it, the, the thing that kind of the, what was good about Loki was uh, up until Thor 2 mm -hmm. when they started making him more like, oh, I'm a misunderstood, you know, mm -hmm. bad guy who's sort of a good right. guy. And it's like that was bullshit. He was great right. as this really campy, evil guy. They also right. gave him a lot of comedy. They made him just comedic. I mean, the, exactly. The third yeah, one, they did. Yeah, he's yeah. there for comedy. Yeah, and he was he was great as that. He was great as this comedic villain. And it's like when they started making him a more likable character, it's like fuck off. Yeah, I liked how much <laughs> oh, of a sorry, dick I he was. I'm just messing with you. King. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Really? Come on. laughs> I'm just messing with you, dude. I don't give a shit, dude. Oh, no, that's cool. I I thought you were you like know? culture, where it's like, dude, please Fuck keep no, dude. to a minimum. No, <laughs> dude. Oh, you can cut hey, all the hell you want, dude. Monkey King. I work for the yeah. DOD. I work for a yeah. certain military branch. I hear it all fucking. Day. Oh, okay, good, because I can swear like a sailor. So yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not monetized. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Good, good. Yeah, <laughs> but once he becomes monetized, oh yeah, definitely. that's right. Yeah. You will self censor yourself, and we will yeah. not. You know, Keith and I decided we were we are not going to monetize that way. We're not going to allow advertising. Uh, uh because um, 
I look, man. I like saying fuck. I no, love I, fucking yeah. saying yeah, fuck. Exactly. Fuckity fuck, 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 fuck. Well, um, like, and bag of dicks. And you know what, and what, what we dicks. what we did what we did Big yesterday or the day before we thumbs. we went to Streamlabs and that's how we're gonna be monetized. We're like yeah, screw that. Exactly, we can say fuck yeah. all we want. You know. Mm -hmm. I gotta. Yeah. Because so. I, I used to I used to uh, do Streamlabs quite a bit, and then I, I kind of stopped because most of my audience uh, I was trying to hopefully get after they were doing um, Toxic Femininity, and yeah. since like with Toxic Femininity by that time most of my audience would be too late, so I couldn't get any guests or anything like that, so I stopped. But it's like when I get that up again, I really like I really need to figure out how to do that because I tried looking into it. And I'm like, how do you do? It? I, it, I boomered it. I boomered it. It's very counterintuitive to use. It's not for yeah you. okay yeah, one one big mistake and you can food bar the whole thing oh good so i'm not yeah, no you're not alone i hate it yeah uh, oh i had to have somebody to help me run through it to set it up for my channel you know it's uh, it was a pain in the ass but once you get it set up you're good yeah. mm. like, hamster could run this this site this is oh yeah. god yeah that's why i like this. i've got <laughs> one i've got one more question for y'all and then we'll wrap it up here but um with regards to the movie theater situation, where do you think it's all leading to? And do you think that we could see a resurgent of the drive-in theater? Yes. Why? So because of the simple fact that like, it's not good, it's going to take at least, I, I'd sure. say maybe mid 2022 till things get back to normal. Um, <laughs> I'm so, so glad you think that. That's cute though, man. <laughs> well, I'm so glad fully, you think that. Things get fully back to normal. But mm. the thing is, what mm. what I think they that a lot of these uh, companies should do though is that they, aside from bringing down the con, uh, the ticket prices, you know, the, yeah. the studio share, so They're they can bring down the. Yeah. Well, they they should. They have. They've been having to do that since like. Uh, I, I can go on for hours about this because I, I I did mm -hmm. I studied a lot about this. Yeah. But um, what they need to do is, is that conversation about it at a later time though too. But go yeah, on. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Um, is that they need to be able to do things where like the theaters can come back and do revivals of their movies, and then they mm -hmm. can just basically take it off of their streaming platform for a bit, yeah. and then bring it back on later on, yeah. and so that theaters can do that thing that they used to do where they can bring back the successful movies every so often and make money that way. But you have <laughs> Fathom Events doing that already. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fathom Events. Fathom Events? They Don't only do classic movies. But yeah, yeah, they only but I'm, I'm not talking about necessarily classic movies. Like let's say King Kong, right? What movie theaters can do is it's like, okay, we're going to have it all right, it's here till the end of April. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to have it for like a few months in um on our streaming service, we're gonna take it off uh, and put it back in the vault for a bit, and then the movie theaters are gonna have like another month or something like that where they can have Godzilla and Kong in a movie, you know, like that kind of revival thing, kind of like how like Star Wars was able to make a lot more of its money, not from necessarily from its initial thing, but from uh, subsequent, engagement. exactly, yeah. Yeah. you know, and that's what yeah. that's what new theaters and studios need to do in order to keep well, their stuff. We're seeing a, an evolution of the landscape for theatrical stuff. I mean, uh, if you recall, the big deal over those last year was Hollywood finally getting rid of that law that prevented them from owning movie theaters again. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason why that was being done is because Disney and other studios want to make sure they have somewhere to release their movies. And because so many theaters were closing because of the thing that happened. And, right. mm -hmm. um, but we had predicted, uh, Keith and I, uh, this big transition from, uh, theater to v video on demand, uh, a year before all that happened. And we were saying, this is actually what's going to take over, but theaters will always exist in some form, but it's also going to lead to the end of big budget uh, movies. Yes. Popcorn. Yeah, films. I, agree. Yes, I think it's in the end, though. it's going to, it's going to kill that. And I agree with you because, <clears throat> um, I enjoy popcorn movies as much as the next person, yeah. but you don't have to spend, you know, close to a billion dollars to fucking make it. No, no, you absolutely know, not. you know, um, Godzilla versus Kong fun movie hated all of the human elements of it. That was awesome. The plot was yeah. terrible. It was just dumb. Yeah. Dumb. Dirt. 
You know, exactly. like, why was dad there? There was no reason for dad to be there other than a paycheck. Uh, and then the director is like, well, we had enough there for a four hour movie, but we cut so much out. And it's like, and then he turns right around and back, you know, backtracks that and goes, oh no, you, what you saw is the movie. <laughs> so Gary, uh, J Gary, have you seen uh, Shin Godzilla? You almost said yeah. Jerry. Because I, I had a teacher, I had a teacher named Jerry who spelled it just like that, uh, and that's why I was like. But um, but Gary, have you ever seen uh, Shin Godzilla? It came out in yes. 2016. Here's what really is like mind blowing. So that movie caught is like made the same amount of money. It was like one of the biggest movies in Japan. Uh, they it made as much money as Godzilla King of the Monsters did in in their in their entire theaters and King of the Monsters was considered a a, a bomb and it was because they would did that and like that that filmmaker he basically combined practical like guy in a suit with CG and it costs a fraction of doing it in completely CG and it's like yep that's the thing about it's like you know, like quit getting obsessed with CG, dude. It's like, yeah, I, I, yeah, good. I am not a fan of Shin Godzilla. Um, I thought there were certain parts of it that were kind of cool, but overall, you know, this whole fucking criticism of the Japanese government over what That's happened what it, it was just an allegory, at Fuku, for, yeah, at the yeah. Fukunara plant. Yeah. It's just stupid. Fukushima? It's like, who's who could oh, be fucking is. prepared for that? You know, well, just, yeah. the first one was an allegory for the, the Hiroshima bomb, for the, I mean, well, for the atomic bomb. Yeah. Yeah. But it didn't actually directly blame anybody. That movie, uh, Shin Godzilla, directly uh, insults and attacked the, the Japanese. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and it and those are people. Yeah, you know, it's not just politicians. These are people trying to do their jobs, and yeah, it was broken. But why do you got to shit on them about it? That's and I hated. I mean, basically, Shin Godzilla itself was nothing more than the smog monster from 1971. Yeah. A creature made of all this pollution. Um, I just, you know, man, I hate people when they try to get on a soapbox and don't know how to fucking write a good story. Oh, well, that's just about everything we watch these days, isn't it? And yeah. comic industry right now. Yeah. And I, I was saying it the other day, I think you were there, Keith, when I said it, that the only comic that is safe to buy right now from Marvel is Conan. Because... Right. They don't have the license rights to it. They they only they paid it to print it, and they get pay, you know money from it, but it's the original licensee that holds the rights of how it's depicted in the comic, right. and they refuse to let Marvel do any of its woke shit. Yeah. That's why you still got girls with big titties in it. <laughs> Back to the God bless phone. girls with big titties. Just saying. <laughs> the thing with the drive-ins, I know that's really the topic we're on here. Yeah. Is the, we've had drive-ins around here for years, but the reason yeah. they work is because they show older movies. Mm, movies right. like Jaws, Ghostbusters, because mm -hmm. there are so many distractions at the drive-in. There's people rolling in late. There's people, their lights go on. Mm -hmm. There's you know, yeah. people walking around. It, you you have to see that. something you know already because you don't want to try to be <laughs> locked in. It, it's just too chaotic. So right. they they're great for that purpose for a night out but i don't think they could mm -hmm. ever rise to the prominence they were in the 60s oh, of 50s course not yeah. i thought that they would make bigger comeback now because it, the technology allows for a better experience i would think too as well you know what well, i'm saying yeah, through the car more area. Now, yeah cuz yeah, you have I, hbo I, audio now yeah, um yeah. yeah just all of it is better we have a movie uh, drive-in theater here that uh 12 years ago was up to modern standard with audio and sound and their picture yeah. was really good um right. and uh also best damn chili dog in the state that little theater in auburn i think it's auburn yeah. missouri or aurora I'll be, I'll, aurora missouri i'll be honest i my city puts on during the summer uh movies in the park and i absolutely love it you know when my kids are younger so yeah. Well, I we I I live next to one of the only oh surviving driving theaters. Dude, huh? I'm so surprised. You're so quiet, dude. I'm never quiet, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. But um, are you, you hear me? Uh, having an issue, man. Shit. I I I live right next to one of the only surviving yeah. 
um, drive in movie theaters here in Arizona. So, oh, what part? You've got one too, but nobody in, uses in it. Phoenix. In Phoenix. So. I grew up in Phoenix. Okay. Oh, that dude, that's awesome. And it's, I lived you at know, the Camelback Apartments. Oh, dude, I used to live there. <laughs> I lived in the first, the very first row, uh, world, top floor, second apartment. Small. I lived in the back um, during and and in the top row. So. Holy shit! I know where you lived. Uh, my buddy Corgi lived there. Wow. Yeah, and, and I lived there for like maybe five, six years. But um, do you know where the drive-in movie theater is, where they do all of the swap meets and stuff? Mm -hmm. Now, that's yeah, the only, it's, it's well, one, the only. That's where we go for. Going off on a tangent, don't you? Yeah. My nieces and I go go to see the fireworks there. It's a beautiful place. The, uh, the drive-in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you okay? I'm just messing with you guys. I'm just messing with you. Uh, guys. No. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, dude. Like, yeah. Oh. So yeah, I I I didn't. Yeah, I. You know, I lived there, all over Phoenix and you know Valley in Arizona. So, but I've never moved out. So. <laughs> I hate the summers. All right. Oh yeah. 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 Well, I just stay inside in the summer. And Norman, you know, what you got? I just shared something real quick, kind of tied oh, to yeah. the, the uh, yes. The oh that, yes. The drama's dead. Yeah. I just walked Somebody by. Somebody will come in and buy this. Someone I hope. Uh, I think I know who might want it. Who? Doug Doug Trumbull. Who? Oh, how about Rob? You know Doug Rob Doug Trumbull. Doug Doug Trumbull. Um. What he's been working on the last four or five years ties right into this, this theater. And I, I have a feeling I haven't talked to Doug, you know, since the coof. But um, if if he can swing it, I bet he'd be interested in. Somebody getting, needs to save the Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, he's working on some mind blowing stuff. I, uh, stuff you yeah, can't talk I, about. I, um, I heard Amazon, uh, Netflix. I don't know. I, I'll have to ask him. I haven't been up there in a while, but he showed me some some amazing like he he has well, a think, similar yeah. setup on his soundstage, uh, like a yeah. mini drama, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's really impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, they really need to. I don't know what the answer is to the movie theaters, but it's something that's so iconic throughout our history and stuff. You know, no matter what it is and what form it is, from you know the the movies that had no sound. And stuff that said so much to all the different iterations that we've seen throughout the decades and stuff like that. I can't imagine us, you know, not having a type of movie experience ever again. I'm with you. I, I saw we were lucky uh, theater near us uh, that we could rent actually could do streaming. And we saw Snyder Cut uh -huh. in the theater. Oh, nice. I, I've got, I've gotten to see Whoa. Indiana Jones, Star Wars, E.T., oh a bunch of movies in a cinema. Back, oh, you nice. Know. nice, yeah. So, yeah. And, and then we, if Gary knows this, um, you know the Cine Capri, right? The original Cine Capri. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I got to see all the, all, I got to see Jurassic Park and all the stuff there too. Nice. And Star Wars, that's where they, dude, back in the early in the late seventies, early eighties, mm -hmm. that's where you went to go see all the movies at. Everybody went to the Cine Capri. Like, I, you know, I, it's just watching Justice League in a theater. Yeah. That immersive experience makes all the difference. Yeah. I watched it at home. It was exactly. not. You're distracted uh, by everything on the planet, right? Yeah, well, yeah, I, I'm with you. The theater experience is second to none. I God, I hope they survive. Yeah. Oh, they. Uh, I will say this, and and Tom said will. this, and I agreed with him. They yeah. will survive in some form, one or another. They they're not going away. They I, may become cool. like they may become like it's um like um mm -hmm. what do you call it? You go to pay see certain movies, mm -hmm, you know, yeah. from past movies like that. Right. But they're gonna survive one way or another. They're not gonna go away. Oh. What I yeah, hope it does, think, though, too, is well, the theater experience was getting horrible with the kids on the phones yeah. and everything. Mm. Oh, yeah, and that they, they, they needed mm. – and, and the, the theaters out here, and I do notice some of them, some of the Harkins mm. and other things, they hate that shit. If they see somebody coming in there, they come in – they escort them out of the theater. They should. They don't, they don't put up with that crap out here. They should. But, yeah. you know, now that they're going to be, you know, releasing them simultaneously on streaming and VOD, mm. you might see less of that. The kids will stay home. Who aren't really? Oh yeah, good. To see yeah. The movie, right. So, 
That might be a good thing. But uh, before we wrap this up, do you think that um, the fact, too, is is that we just had an oversaturated, uh, you know, oversaturation of just movie theaters and have maybe having less will probably bring in the numbers in a lot way in a lot different way? I think so. I mean, we're all basically in the same demographic and right. we grew up with maybe a two yeah. theater or it was a big single right. theater. Yeah. yeah. At the yeah. most yeah. five, but now you've got well, 20 screens. Yeah, we, exactly. Well, in, in well, Phoenix, I remember this. We had the Kachina. We had the Cine Capri. The what Kachina was the, is where I went all the time. Yeah. Yeah. What was the one that was close to Chris Town? It was on Bethany Home. I remember that. And remember Earthquake destroyed the foundation. What was that movie theater called? Oh, it destroyed shit, the foundation remember. of the theater. To where, and here's the thing, they turn. I remember this back when I was little because I saw Song of the South at that movie theater. Okay, that you cannot see anymore. Okay, the like Disney disowns that movie. I literally saw Song of the South in a movie theater. Okay, and and so there was we had we had four big movie theaters. We had the Kitchen of the Cine Capri, the one over at next about a street down the way from Chris Town, um, and there was a pizza place. They had a Shakey's there. Right next to the movie I theater. I miss awesome. Shakey's. Oh, I Dude, miss Shakey's so much. We got Shakey's here in my town. My wife yeah. loves it. I freaking hate it. Yeah, it was Phoenix simply Stem called the Bethany <laughs> Theater is the one yeah, you're talking okay. about. And then we had one more theater. I don't remember where it was at. So we had four. And I, I, I got to see the last movie that I got to see in the Kachina. And it was the last movie that they... The last movie that they uh, they played in the, in the Kachina was uh, The Wizard of Oz. Oh, nice. Yeah, and the last movie that they played in the Sin Capri before they tore it down and rebuilt it was the Titanic. And I got to see I got to see the last show in both theaters because I grew up with that, you know? Yeah, I saw um and I think it was at the Kachina. Uh yeah. I saw um what was that movie called? True Grit. Yeah, uh, when it came I, got out. True the Grit, I got to see True Grit there too. And, and no. it busted my because we sat too close to one of the speakers. And it was my very first movie in a movie theater. Uh -huh. And I kept complaining to my brother, Steve, you know, it's like, oh, my ear hurts, you know, and he's like, stop being a pussy. And uh, we get out of the theater and I got blood all the way down my oh neck. My <laughs> like, he's like, oh, man, dad's going to be so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? It exploded and you got shrapnel? It just, it? no, it just, uh, the audio is like oh. so loud, the tenor of it. Yeah. It, oh, yeah. it caused a, a blood yeah. vessel to, to burst in my ear. Okay. Yeah. In the Kuchina, in the city, Gary, Capri, you're such a pussy. In the Bethany <laughs> Theater, you could do that, dude. That they had their speaker systems were so just. Uh. Yeah, they would just, instead of being great sound, they would just turn up the volume. They would max it out. Theaters. Yeah. Yeah. So. Jeez. Yeah, All so. right, guys, let's wrap this up. This All right, up, man. Dude. It's like nine fifteen here. So. Yeah, I gotta go All take right. one of my dogs. So, uh, <laughs> Geek, uh, tell us where you can find it, uh, find you, and uh, I put the links in the uh, chat already. Okay, thank you. Well, that's, yeah. and what you got going on? We're in the socials uh, at Geek Time Net for Twitter, Facebook, Insta, uh, GeekTimeNetwork.com. Uh, we do a regular stream on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern um, and then sprinkle stuff here and there. And I've been I'm joining Gary's panel, which is awesome. I'm really psyched about cool. that on Fridays, the Fridays that I can. Do you know. get free reach arounds for that, too, by the way? Oh, you have if reach. only. <laughs> oh, Gary, I like to. I would like to come on there more too. Oh my God. We have a lot of fun. We really yeah. do. Um, yeah, I, I love going on to the yeah. Friday one. When we too. first That's started it, man, oh my God, ADD. We derailed constantly. <laughs> Steven, oh, wow. Steven triggers my ADD in a way that nobody can do it. But I finally got it to where we can do things and stay on track. <laughs> um, and uh, and I really get like right before we do an interview like with somebody big, uh, like we did, you know, uh, Rod Lurie, the director of The Outpost, mm -hmm. was on uh, last week. Before the show, man, I'm like, I'm not hounding, I'm not mean, I'm just like, keep your shit tight, don't go off topic, and be good with your questions. Don't be retarded. <laughs> <laughs> And um, and we did. It was a great episode. 
Uh, everybody Jake, stayed on their toes. Anything else? Because Gary just interrupted uh, you. Of course. <laughs> well, he's part of our thing now, so Dude, I'm promoting right. him. He's a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're we're um one of the series we just launched is called uh, Countdown to Sixty Years of 007. We had Mark. A. Oh L. man. Uh, oh, Dutch. I no. love your guys' stuff on that one. So. Yes. Oh, uh, I gotta go. That, that's that awesome. Out. More to come. Uh, Robert Meyer Burnett will be joining us. For oh. Yeah. So. Dude, he's like, dude, he's like the celebrity I want to meet. He's you know awesome. what I'm saying? Yeah, he's awesome. I, yeah. Well, if, yeah. if if if, if it would be Gary or me, we can probably hook you up. <laughs> so. no, yeah, because he's, he's in. I, I, I know Robert, and uh, he's yeah. going to be on our show on the 23rd. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just smart. absolutely adore his knowledge of Star Trek and his love for it. Yep. I just wish I had the knowledge that he has and his boyish enthusiasm yes, yeah i love exactly. robert robert is awesome yeah. so you no, know. Yeah, he's not lost hope and i love that yeah. about him I, yeah. right i know because yeah. uh, none uh, of us want to be cynical douchebags none of us right? yeah well oh. maybe mm -hmm. me, but um that's about it yeah. and you know of course i'm always available to hop on uh, if you guys want yeah he yeah. is he's he's awesome to oh and by the way white keith your first episode is with white. robert Byer meyer burnett <gasps> <laughs> You'd Way to pug your cherry, right? right? Oh, dude, he's gonna like. You should see everywhere. my underwear right now. Oh my god! Well, well here, here, my big, my what? first big, <laughs> our first big one was I think with Robert, and then we had, then we had Uche, and then we had Ryan, and then we had Robert again, and then we had other, and then tomorrow, you know. Oh, I'm not okay. Sorry, I'm shy. No, I didn't mean to go on. No, it's your turn. turn. <laughs> it's your turn, dude. It's your turn, Oh, it is my turn? Okay. Oh, and then, okay. Oh my so, God. and then tomorrow's their big 100th, oh, you know, no, extravagation good. celebration thing, so. Mm -hmm. That we're going to probably, we're going to have a few surprise guests, but we're going to have a bunch of people from the community and everything else. A ton of people you guys will know that and you love and stuff, so. Hookers um, and fire trucks and all that. Yeah, we're we're gonna have hookers and we're gonna snort <laughs> no, coke yeah. off people's asses, people's big asses. old orgy, oh, yeah, you know. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but, hey uh, White Keith, uh, Keith Time asked if you were on Instagram. Yes, um, but uh, Judah Buddha from my team runs the <laughs> Judah Buddha. Judah Buddha. Yeah, that really sounds culturally inappropriate, by the way. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. Cancel him. <laughs> Just shell back, hookers. I am not affiliated with Buddha Buddha. <laughs> Go back, hookers. Okay. But 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 what we were what I was saying is I I'm I'm on with um Clobbering on Thursday. We have our me and I co-host with Clobbering. We have our global geek gang show that we do every Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> and then on on Friday I'm on with Nick. Mm -hmm. And oh, then, right. yeah, and we have the comic book thing, and then we, I that do got some other derailed stuff. last Friday. Oh yeah, I did. Oh my God, dude, you guys. Jeez. Anyway, well, yeah, and, and then, then I usually, and then I'm coming on here on Saturdays with you. Right. So yeah, yeah. I'm here on yeah. Saturdays with you, and then tomorrow's our big streams. Like the big right, stream yeah. is on Sunday. So. Yeah. so. All right. Is that it. Yeah, and you can find me on Twitter, everything else. You know? Yeah, you don't want to find Tom. Fun talk yeah, I follow you on Twitter. Yeah. Hey, Willie, you there? <laughs> yep. The hairy monkey? Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> uh, so basically, you can find me uh, on socials, usually as Willie Woodward. Uh, or um, And uh, you can also find me on Willie the Monkey King. And um, yeah, <laughs> pretty much, I mean... Uh, Pretty much all things are quiet, but uh, got some bigger oh, stuff coming in soon. But hopefully, yeah, um, yeah. So that's it. <laughs> that's Up it. You. you got anything else going on? Uh, I I'm going to be launching a crowdfunding campaign soon uh, to launch an animated pilot. I wanted to make an animated series, but um, I have to. I ha I was oh, told wow. to trim it back Hold to animated on. pilot. Gotcha. Do you have an animator? What are you, What are you doing? I am an animator. Uh, it's a, it's a, um, it's an action. You're an emanator? Anim emanator. Emanator. Right? emanator, emanator. So, so basically, uh, I'm going to be doing, um, a majority of the animating. Um, I'm also going to be writing, 
and stuff and uh -oh. just doing stuff as well. I know, I know. It's like I, I, I know. I, I'm an idiot. Crazy talk. But it's 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 very much in. It's an action, uh, sci-fi cartoon mm -hmm. that's kind of in the line of like those '80s cartoons, like Thundercats and stuff. And mm -hmm. yeah, um, cool. it's very called cool, a, dude. There. Yeah, when it when yeah. it gets when it gets when it gets closer to me actually launching the thing, I'll, I'll give you more information because I don't want to I don't want to uh, I I made the mistake <laughs> earlier this month. Well, no, I made the earlier mistake to kind of like over promise because uh, I was like, yeah, you know, because like it yeah. looked like things were ready that I could probably have launched it earlier this month, and then uh, when that kind of fell behind. Um, I felt like a real dork because I was telling culture about it. Like culture is like, oh, well, whenever it comes out, you know, I'm looking forward to it. And it's like, oh, it's man, culture. a culture casino. Oh, yeah. so I, I, I kind of over promise sometime on the our second scenes, nicest too. guy on yeah. YouTube. Oh, yeah. Culture's, yeah. Culture's culture is weird. extremely nice. Number one yeah. is Polly from Latino Slant. Yeah. Oh, Polly's yes. really cool, too. Yes. Yeah. He sounds Polly like he should be on NPR. Asshole. Right, he rips yeah. me a new asshole every time I see him. him <laughs> like, I swear to God, I, I think I think Polly and uh, Jane Theory they should do AMR AMR Ew. videos. Uh, and stuff. Like they'll be like this, talking like, "Hey, you you can go to sleep now." Polly, Polly, and I know Keith has heard him do it. Polly shits on me every once in a while, and I fucking love it. It's oh, like I this, love it when Polly does that to me too. He, he just, he's so nice. He's like, uh, well, you know. When you grow up to be a real internet person, uh, I'll give a shit what you think, Gary. Thanks. Well, yesterday I was on. What was it? Was it with who's? I was. I was on cocktail hour last night, and we we're like saying, and, and then Polly popped in. He's like, "Don't subscribe to Jed's channel." Like, <laughs> yeah, I love him. He is so awesome. He really is. Um, just a down to earth guy too. Yeah, I love Paul. Well, what He's else awesome. are you doing, uh, Willie? Um, that's pretty. I mean, aside from trying to get that animated show, I mean, that's well. Let me let me. That is at Jane the Jane moment Jane. the biggest thing uh, I'm doing. Well, as an artist, you should uh, friend me on or whatever you call it on Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. I uh, will do. Uh, so, um, off to you, Gary. <laughs> I'll go, Gary. Nobody wants to hear about me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can catch me on Mondays on uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark on Yeti Cast, on Wednesdays with Fat Steven on our animation show, and on Fridays you can catch me with now White Keith on uh, Pop Culture Minefields TGIF. We air before... Friday night tights because I don't want to interfere and I'm always hoping that if Tom's not too busy from Midnight's yeah. Edge, he'll pop in because we're really good friends. Oh, and gotcha. um, and I love it when he's, he's on our show. In fact, we will be releasing, thanks to Mad Mardigan stepping in to help me edit, um, we're going to be releasing our 1984 best sci-fi of the 80s. Oh. And Tom is co-host on that episode. And it's in mm. almost two hours. That's That's awesome, dude. The 80s are oh, there. Dude. That was the best decade for sci-fi. Well, 84 was like, really, to be honest with you, was the best year of the 80s for sci-fi. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it was. And, um, uh, I mean, despite oh, God, 82 yeah. having Blade Runner, Star Trek II, Wrath of Khan, um, 84 had just a yep. bunch of movies. Yep. And I, no, I don't include E.T., the extraterrestrial, because it's a garbage film. I fucking hate I it. Win, oh, I'm with you. Oh, oh my That's God. Thank it. you, Gary, because I fucking hate that movie with a passion. Like, I went to see it with my girlfriend did. and my dad, and I walked out, and my dad and I were like, so it was a Jesus analogy. Uh, awesome. <laughs> Gary, Gary, you're fully becoming like a new favorite person. Oh my <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Um, the Haters Club. Yeah. Well, Keith and I, we started doing the show because we I'm a sarcastic prick and he's a knowledgeable dude. And half of what I know about the entertainment industry is thanks to my partner, Keith Moncrief. Um, that guy is, we've been doing stuff together for years on, you know, live. And we decided to do internet, YouTube, because people kept saying, you guys need to take the show on the road and do YouTube. You really do. Because, and my job I just make jokes. I'm Ed McMahon is what I am. He's Johnny Carson. My job is to set him up, pull the trigger, and let him go. Okay. Um, gotcha. And if you've hey. never watched him talk about shit, it is an education. 
every time he opens his mouth about Hollywood and movies and TV. Hey, Gary, can you yeah, also, man. I've been pushing that uh, link on help rebuild the uh, Red River Tattoo. Can you talk about that real quick? For that me? is our uh, oh, Steve's oh. Yeti's and my friend Rebecca. Um, she opened a tattoo parlor down in Kentucky and uh, was doing really wonderful. And then one night, without warning from the, the local government, even though they were aware of what was getting ready to happen, uh, she lost everything in the flood and it destroyed all her equipment if they had gotten even an hour's warning they could have gotten the most expensive equipment out of that place yes. safely yes. and uh and then on top of that they're not helping her really they gave her 500 dollars. yeah that's and that so, doesn't help no and thank god she she was able to get five thousands from uh i can't remember who the heck it was from but she got five thousand which paid for a portion of it but what having to rebuild an entire business is an expensive yeah. venture and it's she's special, been dealing with you know prejudice that. in that town against her t it's a tattoo shop uh and it's a small-minded town the the government uh, and she's got no help from those people her landlord's not helping her uh, and it's really his responsibility so if she wants her business open she's got to figure out how to do it so She's doing a GoFundMe, which I shared the link uh, earlier yeah. with you. Oh, I've been uh, sharing it all night. Thank you so Twitter much for doing it, dude. On the on the the stream as well, too. Not that I have that many people to follow. We're going to be you know, featuring right. her all yeah. week, including with okay. our interview on Friday cool. with uh, Robert Meyer Burnett. Cool. Uh, we're just going to bring her up in conversation. And we're going to talk mm -hmm. about it because, yeah. um, look, man, if we can't stick up for each other, yeah. this world's fucked. Um, it is. You know, and uh, I, Rebecca is such a sweetheart. And, you know, she came to us letting us know that uh, Keith and I in particular, that we make her laugh in a way that uh, other shows don't. Uh, and she loves how yeah. Steve, <laughs> Yeti and I just play grabastic humor all the time we're on the air <laughs> with each other and shitting on right. each other. And she said it was the first time she was able to, to feel laughter again to watch That's our good. stupid streams. I love tattoos. I've got tattoos all over me so i've only got one uh from the well, army. i have them I, they're hidden but because i work what i do and i have to i can't you can't see them from sleeve down of course but you know what i'm saying they can be covered up so Gosh. yeah but um yeah but um is that all you had gary uh that's pretty much it and of course you know mm -hmm. follow us on pop culture minefield yeah. uh, at twitter and I've, it's right there in my little uh, description. It's I, uh, at it Pop too. Cole Minefield because on on Twitter they don't allow for any more letters. That I is know, it. Yeah. 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 It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Um, yeah. Twitter and their cheap lettering. I'm lucky I got my full name on there. So yeah, yeah. I'm mine. They don't. Mm. They still don't have an edit button for fuck's sake. Oh yeah, I'm God. like, the they need to edit button on there. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing worse than looking and you you realize you misspelled a word or a name yep. or left yep. an entire word out because you were in a hurry. Yep. And six has a tramp <laughs> stamp. Don't believe her. She's a liar. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God. She's such a sweetheart. Right. <clears throat> oh, is that it? And that's it for me, man. Tramp All stamps right. are awesome. Oh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you can look down They're just directional. I know they're, they're just, just there to direct you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Arrow this going way. this way. Come this oh, yeah. way. Wave it on <laughs> in. Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing worse than the look you get on your face when you're not sure where you're going. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, everybody, you can find me on Twitter. I am just an army uh, five on Twitter. You can find me, of course, on YouTube. You can find me with my fantastic logo that fat steven uh you know uh just, just ruined you know what i'm saying no just, <laughs> i give him shit all the time every time i i discussed it but um every tuesday i am on nick weiser's uh 32 flavors of nick weiser uh discussing invincible uh good stuff Falcon winter soldier oh that's a good freaking show my god and then uh, i'm assuming we'll be discussing other things and then of course Every Saturday at 6 uh, p.m. Pacific, uh, I will have my stream of discussions. And anybody wants to join, contact me and all that. 
I'm doing a compare and contrast of the villains from Gotham, the TV show, and their comic book counterparts and stuff. And I drop that every Wednesday at 12, 15 p.m. Pacific. And I am also writing a sci-fi novel as well on the side. I'm about 250 pages in. So I probably got another 250, 300 pages to go, but um, that's about all there is and stuff. I really appreciate you guys for it's, showing up and all that. So yeah, oh, thanks for having thanks for having us, Justin. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, brother. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Oh, shut up, Pop. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Take care, everybody. Uh, Be safe. Take care. Bye. Peace out. Bye. Peace out, guys. <laughs>